Hello, Hades! Aga mo ngayon! Uh, I'll just do my usual rounds of sharing and then we can start. Yeah, kumain na ako. people to go before my affiliate na ako. and I'm very excited for it today
excited na ba? Sit looking. Shit, two people. Okay. Let's go to chatting. 
Dikit ko, no? Wait, wait. Bakit gano'n? Yun! Hi! Hi, everyone! start because it's not fair that we are going to uh, it's just it's just us right this is a uh, we're going uh, we're going to do the long form because uh, chat already has understood the concept in um, Monster Prom earlier. And uh, we are... So we're going to do the, the long thing. Like um, the full four weeks. So I think that's like, uh, that's two hours at least. I hope I caught Travish. There's not, not a really... Oh, oh, Kath, you got it! Oh, that's so cool. It's the... It's the... It's the baby trash Pokemon. Like, it's it, it's literally the trash bag. Yes, it's a baby trash bag. Then it becomes a bigger trash bag.
I'll not be looking up drinks though. I think people should suffer their own choices there. That's very funny because you guys are the ones gonna mix your own drinks. Then again, I also don't know what those drink combos are. Hi! Welcome to chat! Oh, there's six people now! Hey, 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 you know what this means! You guys ready? Eh? Yes, yes, you guys are. So, uh, I'm going to say right off the bat, I will, I will, I will be going for calculus. But uh, you guys will be will, will get to see options. Goodness, it's back. Eh. Okay, okay. Let's go. Yeah, I just lowered the voice. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oops. You guys did not see that. First monster cap. Here we go. Uh, I also put it in streamer mode, so... Are you guys ready? You guys got, um... Oh! We lost two people. They're not going to be making your choices, guys. So, let's do it.
Uh, let's see what else can I bother people with. After go for a bit, after we get this started though, I'll be I'll be back. Okay, okay. Everyone say hi to Sporks. Alright, so uh, Sporks, you're up early. You know how this game goes, right? And uh, you know the rules and so do I. <laughs> oh no! have work to do so i'll have your stream for abiets yeah yeah thank you uh, thank you for for coming by i think i'm gonna grab something to eat like a snack and then we can start six people okay uh you came at the wrong wrong time i uh uh just give me a minute i'm going to grab snacks you guys can can get drinks and stuff and uh uh don't give sporky a hard time okay sparky's my mod
Okay, I'm back. Uh, for those new here, we have a thing called um, Pokemon Communicate Game in chat. And you can catch Pokemon in chat. Hold up. Alright, let's start. Uh, for the next, uh, for, for next Monday, I'd, I'd like to play Bastion, but after that, I'd also like to do, uh, uh, Sporks, how do you feel about doing, um, Don't Starve? Don't Starve on stream. Oh, I didn't get the stuff off. You, you know how Don't Start just raises my stress level so much. So, okay, since I got your... Uh, uh, that would be next Monday. Let's... Uh... Set the date because Monday is my game stream, Thursday is my art stream, and Saturday is um, anything goes. That would be the previous day for you guys if you're in America. Should have a game, but only if you're comfy with getting stressed. I think I matured enough with getting stressed in Don't Starve. We should be. Uh, we should play a game that's decompressing for you. Oh, you know what it is already. It's Stardew Valley. Did I? Nope, I still did get the Pokemon. I mean, if you're willing to play Stardew Valley... Oh, but anyway, it's been 30 minutes waiting for people to come on the stream, so... I think we 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 should start. Uh, I was planning to uh All right, all right. Let's let let's go back. So yeah, Stardew Valley. We we can do that. And then like test out the new stuff. Let's play. Uh, awesome voice effects. So two players. And we do the full game because you, you already. G oh, this is new—the medium game and stuff. Ah, Camp Spooky, the stage of some of our dearest summers. Back then, we were young and unafraid. With school far away, everything seems possible as the sun embraces us on our way to camp. Summer has a distinct power, doesn't it? You live for the days while the nights inebriate you with possibilities. It's like life could take a turn at every corner. And for us it did. 
So, what are we doing, guys? Do I? Uh, I'm player one, so I'll, obviously I'll either play Vicky or Ryan. But who are you guys playing? Uh, I'm gonna look in Steam if I have... Let me check. I thought I had the... I, th I had Monster Prompts DLC. I thought I did, actually. It's weird. Maybe be yellow boy. Okay, I wandered the train and got an Anna. Alright, so, uh, I'm. Ini mini 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 Okay. A glutton for punishment. Wait, you know what? I'm gonna be Brian in this run too. Fam, it's it's uh it'd be nice to play as a um as I just wanna chill. Oh okay, this one's new. Uh you Uh, these are, uh, you get three choices of, um, uh, stat. These are kind of our stats upgrades and stuff at the start. Hi, Dad. And yes, you guys will, will be named Chatterbox. So obviously I'll get a plushie because I love plushies. <laughs> I see a cult ring. Uh, Iron Maiden sleeping bag. Wood carving machete. Sock puppet. Swole floaties. And brain. Uh. 
Uh, yeah, I'll get the... Which one's smart? Multi-tool? Oh, ring. Hey, Dan, are you going to... Yeah, you're here to ruin my date. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's go with Coltrane. Vey. And we go with Chatterbox. Because we are, uh, we are ruining each other's run. So, I mean, we could help each other out as well, but, uh, let's try not to do that as much as possible. So that we, let, it's like, it's like, um, it's like fun ribbing, you know? How you guys play the game? No, 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 it's okay. You can join in. You can Im input. That's the point of chat versus me, you know? I like how Oz has um his little... His little guys. They're just hanging out all over his body. Uh, all right. All right. What are your... Stuffs. You want the lemonade Daki Makura? Swole floaties? You guys only get uh three. Uh I I haven't played Monster Camp much, so I do not know any of the stats of these. Fake noble title. Hellfire Portable Barbecue a recorder. Oh, this is this is definitely um uh what you call this calculester vampire sun hat too many crossword these are almost all calculesters I'm so jealous are this fuck hard tech so which ones are you uh which three are you guys getting Oh, you want to go for the demon lady? Okay, uh, here's the hard deck. You guys got, um, bold and, uh, charming, I think? Uh, okay, uh, floaties. Oh, that's another bold. Do you want the fake noble title or the barbecue? Or the Dakimakura. Real and floaties as well. Alright. One must say that the monster problem had hardened us for the highs and lows of love. But no, in love, we are always absolute beginners. Summer cap was so different. No one talked about it, but the idea of summer love loomed over our heads. Close to last day of camp, there was a meteor shower happening just five weeks away. Oh my god, it's five weeks! We are going to be here for more than three hours. Strap in, folks. Everyone knew that if you were into someone, you were going to watch the damn thing together. 
and saw a silent yet powerful pressure invaded us. It was the monster prom all over again. Everything seemed uncertain, everything but one thing. Whoever we were asking on a meteor shower date was probably going to be one of the six coolest people on that bus. <laughs> That's a Joel Joel reference! <laughs> Puta! Oh my god! Joy Johnson Jojima, 23, a badass witch who wanted to chill a bit after saving the world countless times. Aravi Mishra, a hot-headed adventurer possessed by a curse who, who had turned to be the most annoying roommate ever. So that's Cressida. My boy! Alcluster Hewlett Packard, version version 1.1. Didn't he upgrade? A library computer had become a sentient robot ready to experience life at its fullest. There she is, Dahlia Kino, 20, 20, a buff blue demon and warmonger who has set her sights on conquering Summer Next. This is basically just, it's basically just Kiana and Vice, guys. Isn't she um Damien's cousin? Gavin LeBay, 21, a fearless demon with a taste for destruction and love of fire. It's uh it's Danny. And Milo Belladonna, 23? A death reaper doubling as an internet influencer and who has profoundly and who is profoundly in love with life and its early pleasures. They them. The bus trip was long and all of summer she could be shaped by the first swell taken. And so it is clear, it all came down to breaking the ice and causing a good depression with the right person. Alright, which of these would be your favorite TV show? Documentaries, game shows, beauty contests, fantasy adventure series, anime, house flipping shows. Oh, uh, these two, actually. Uh, I mean these three, but I'm gonna pick eh. How about you guys? Anime? Game show? Anime is bold? Really? Not fantasy adventure series? Okay. Oh, uh, Spark. Um, chat is a uh, chatterbox is gonna be going for Dahlia. Oh, he likes anime. Also enjoy documentaries play Panini. I love them. They help me learn so many new things. Oh my god, look at this quotes! Uh. <laughs> 
my favorite documentaries occur on the History Channel. I know are they are... Oh no... I know they are reliable because the channel is called History, which means it only reports factual past information! <laughs> Hey, I did not grow up in America, but even I know the History Channel is, uh, sus. Look at his face! Oh no! Speaking of which, did you know that the pyramids were built by Aryan aliens? from the future who seek to breed humans as an alternative food source and those aliens are currently living under the Earth's core. Guys, what are... I'm gonna get the... As, as, as Brian slash Panini. We are, uh, we are gonna be... Uh, it will be our life's mission to destroy the History Channel. Is this fair? Yeah, they're mostly conspiracy and house flipping stuff at this point. I think having infinite access to the internet would prevent this. You know, um, as someone who's been on the internet since they were a teenager, uh, it's it's um. It's an unfortunate fact of life that uh, even if you present uh, a fact to someone, they're still going to believe what they believe. So they will seek out people who who uh, 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 confirm their life life biases and stuff like that. I mean. It happens to us as well, so it, it, it's it's a human nature thing. Facts? What's what are those? Yeah, what are those? Fascinating, I know. There is so much to be learned from documentaries. We must compare our knowledge further while we are at camp. Ah! Wow, you guys got Dahlia. Uh, what, what's, what's her, um, what's her voice? What voice are we giving her? To give her Kiana's voice. Oh, tough lady. Hmm. Oh, the stuff lady so fuck yeah i love anime we got so much to talk about now chatterbox what's your preference shonen or shoujo dub or sub 90s anime animation style or modern i got a whole folder on my phone of my favorite anime fight scene clips we should binge watch them on the way to camp and try to recreate them this summer uh oh I hope you guys uh, have been going to gym, huh? I'm gonna United States of smash your ass to hell and back. This is gonna be awesome. We only had five weeks left to war crushes and conquer their hearts. And as I already said, we were young and unafraid and we were ready to start. <laughs> smash your asses. <laughs> You guys can see your stats? Oh boy, nope. Nope, you guys can't see anything. Alright. Hold on. Whoop. Scooch this here. Can you guys see it now?
Hello? Hello? Hello, hello. What happened? Oh no, that's me. That's my stats. Ah, uh, these are your stats, guys. Where's my smarts? Oh, I am so, so. Smarts. So I think I have to do smarts, creativity, and charm. Smarts 13 plus, um, creativity 7, charm. I don't remember. 7, I think? 7 plus? I'm going to the woods. <laughs> While you're hiking through the woods, you accidentally step on a pile of leaves covering a massive hole. It was a trap. An evil goblin hunter? Is it a goblin who hunts or someone who hunts goblins? You'll never know. Appears. They were the one who put the trap in there. This is it. You're done. You get ready to embrace death, but the goblin hunter only set the trap to get someone to help them do their math homework. They only let you leave if you help them. You don't have any other option here. It's a bit boring, but you actually learn some useful calculus. You gain plus two smarts. You're searching the forest for the perfect tree. Carve your love interest into initials into. When you stumble across calculus or enjoy, you seem agitated. Uh, four for error. I do not understand. It's not the raccoon's blood supposed to rain inside of his body. Do you guys remember what voice I gave Joy? Average, um... Average cock student, honestly, I want to kidnap a friend who helped with my math homework. Uh-oh. Kind of... What kind of cock classes do you guys have? Ugh. Yes, cow. That's where blood belongs. This raccoon is seriously injured, and that's why I'm worried about it. Aw, Joy is not so bad. Mm. But why is it injured? Mm. Because it dove in front of me during my climatic encounter with my latest monster of the week. Absorbing an attack that would otherwise have killed me. Aw, aw, that's so sad. Ah, uh, sorry for saying monster of the week. I'm not sure if that's an offensive term here. No need to apologize. Technically, I am a soulless automaton, not a monster. Also, I am physically incapable of being offended. This, that's my boy. But you have not answered my question. Being injured seems to be suboptimal state of affairs. Why then did the raccoon allow itself to be injured? didn't allow itself to be injured, that's not how it works. 
but can it not simply repair the infected body systems with a generous application of epoxy and aluminum plating? This is how I handle such... Such piss. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be super lethal for a living creature. Oh dear. Oh gosh. Oh no. Did he just say oh dear oh, oh gosh oh no? Also Also, Flareon. No, I didn't catch it. Sad. It would, but then all of the other animals I have saved. Oh no! Are you saying that I. Oh dear. Error! Error! Alert! Critical introspection! Imminent! Total emotional collapse! Likely. Enough of this. Snap out of it, Kel! I don't have time to deal with your comical failures to understand organic life right now! I'm trying to save this raccoon's life! I am sorry, friend Joy, that my impending psychological meltdown is inconvenient for you! You are so weird. Ugh, fine, I'll talk to you through this, but only if Panini can help stabilize the raccoon. You can do that, can't you, Panini? Uh, sure, totally. I mean, all you really gotta do is. Oh, these are both so bad. Uh, upload the raccoon's consciousness to the cloud. Replace the raccoon with a hand puppet and hope no one notices. Well... All for Calculester. So smart! You plug a USB cable, ca cable into the base of the dying raccoon skull and connect it to your phone. Uh, let's not let the not ask how how organic beings have have uh, USB ports at the base of their skulls. You managed to download their coons consciousness easily enough because this is a video game and who gives a shit? You know what? Yeah. But you don't have enough space available in your Google Drive, so you decide to upload the raccoon to an actual cloud instead. Don't you have fun, Panini? Uh... Uh, I, I mean... Yes, yes. Absolutely, yes. I am a android. Yes, absolutely. So I can date Calculaster. You're not sure whether it worked until you glance to a nearby puddle and find the raccoon's face staring serenely back at you. Good, everyone's got one. It would be weird if you did. Ha 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 
No, look! Panini has somehow managed to turn a routine case of force medicine into a transformative spiritual experience. The raccoon's face disappears from the puddle and peers into the clouds above you where it down imperiously. <sighs> Go kids. No, wait. Wait, I, I have the... Look inside yourself, Panini. It says in the booming voice. You are more than what you have become. You must take your place in the circle of life. Mufasa, is that you? Uh... Uh... Remember who you are. You are my child and the one true monarch. Remember who you are. Such a climax. What? Panini, I had no idea you were a protagonist. This changes everything. Kidding, says the raccoons in the clouds. I'm a fucking raccoon, we met like two minutes ago. Thanks for turning me into a cloud. I'm gonna go hunt the fuck out of some chickens. away on the breeze, cackling all the way. Hmm. Ah, so it appears that living things really are nothing more than fiendishly complicated machines. I guess I can't refute that, given the fact that Panini accomplished all this with a USB cable and a free Wii transfer account. Hey. I I also have a Wii transfer account. I am happy. I am happy. So then, all the animals I saved by gluing metal plates to their bodies are alright after all. Uh, you know what? Sure. Well, that settles it. Cal's happy, Joy's happy, and every time you commit a minor crime or root around the garbage, you feel raccoon god smiling on you. You get plus two charm and one swords. So, uh, my goal is to at least, uh, uh, except for boldness, I'm going to um, up all my stats into at least eight. Alright, I for you guys. Where are y'all going? Go? Blue's favorite? Alright, to the camp dome it is. Day you play competitive spin the bottle. Oh, you look so cute! Oh, 
Oh! You got them mixed up? Oh, never mind next time. Yeah, yeah. You'll be f you you'll be fine, guys. That day, you play competitive spin the bottle. You must kiss a camper from camp rival camp. It's a long, intense kiss in which your tongues wrestle mercilessly. Ooh! You apply some unexpected biting since that's currently very high on the meta while holding the back of their head to prevent an untimely escape. You win at kissing. It goes without saying you've earned plus two charm. What's um what's the stats for um for for your blue girl? So you guys are gonna cycle between charm and um, um charm and boldness, and I have to um cycle with charm. No, no, no! I don't need charm anymore. Uh, creativity and smarts, and I'll try um popping fun once. Okay, boldness it is. Later you find Dahlia punching a rock. Yana? This is normally would be pretty standard, but you realize her expression was shade of sadness. Yana! You go ask if she's okay. She's not. Oh. Hi, Chatterbox. You must be wondering why I, Dalia Kino, am not in my usual cheerful disposition. I don't know you. I know you all expect me to keep morale high as I am the unquestionable leader of this camp army of ours. You have literally never seen her as that, but you're not about to interrupt her. Best you see? I've been lately enjoying the many pleasures of summer as I get closer to my goal of having the best summer ever! <sighs> but might all these pleasures be making me weak in the process? Oh, Dahlia. I've been so focused on summer when before my only season used to be conquest season. Aww. I think we all know what the problem is. It's Damien. Oh, guys! Oh, you guys are going to dunk on your boy! Uh. Yeah, my whole thing used to be Damien's rival, conquering the Eight Circle of Hell and all that. So but Summer Camp has opened my eyes. Damien is like... Super lame! Hey! That idiot has zero survival skills. Oh, you know what? Yeah, that's true. I saw him checking a cheese bark to find the nearest McDonald's. <laughs> He's the silverest of the silver spoons. It's disheartening. I mean, you know what? Yeah, that's... That's uh yeah. I cannot see that wimp as a rival anymore. But a healthy rival is an essential part of a warlord structure to remain strong. Oh, admirable. I know this because I've watched all kinds of informational documentaries on being strong, such as Dragon Ball and Naruto. I think one of those was even filmed by Michael Moore. Wait a minute. So I got worried that I would become weak by having no rival. I started punching this rock in the hopes that we'd become sworn enemies, but it's not working. Oh. Oh no. Uh. 
Oh god. You tell Dahlia you will become her rival. A rivalry to remember! I actually got the shelter. Nah, you're saying that so we can build some sort of sexual tension. Oops. So muscular. Yippee! Oh no! I hope you don't pound me to dust, Dahlia. Chatterbox. It's just the first day. I don't blame you. Anyone would leap at a chance if it meant they'd be they'd get a spoonful of this buff, beautiful blue bot. But enemies to lovers sounds more like uh sounds like more fun of a Ravi or a joy thing. Not my jam though. Sorry. Strong effect on whatever Oz is. Oz can be anything they want. That sucks, but if Dahlia's not into sexual tension with rivals, maybe she's in into intimacy, trust, and eventually sexual tension with good friends who help her in an hour of need. Don't overthink it. Jump headfirst into it, punch the first person who crosses your path, and let rivalry rivalry blossom over time. You're sup you've surpassed Damon's level by far. But what if he had a rival that was a horrible creature made out of 14 Damien's? That may level the playing field. Uh which one switch? I think one should work for us. Uh, what else? One? Okay. Oh, whoa! Dahlia takes your word for it. When she hears some footsteps on her back, she punches it before even looking. But the punch is stopped in a very anime way! It's... It's a very athletic water nymph. Their eyes lock. Hey, you. You have no right to punch that rock. That rock was my rival. Dahlia is smitten, but not romantically. Somehow you can tell she's smitten in a platonic rival way. They have a hella anime fight. Punches are thrown, techniques are used, they even shout the names of their attacks out loud. Kick of the rising salmon! The nip screams while throwing the sickest kick ever. You're okay. That's incredibly gay. Maybe we can get to a two for one deal. Uh huh. Uh. Well, I totally named my techniques too. Uh uh. Headbutt of the rising Talia. That's also a kick, but who are you to judge? You. You're not half bad. Die. You're not bad either. My name's Dahlia. Nice to fight you, Dahlia. I'm Daphne. Daphne the, the nymph. Uh. I'll admit, that rising salmon was kinda cool, but I could beat it in a heartbeat, you know? Uh, sure. And that headbutt of the rising Dahlia? I must admit, I've never seen the headbutt done with your leg. Uh. I'd kiss a water nymph and a demon. Chatterbox can be a little guy between two buff ladies. You know what? Yeah, sure. So, you know, we could like totally fight any other day, not that I care. No, no, me neither. But, uh, I mean, I'm free on Wednesdays and fighting you would be better than doing nothing. If you're not like busy fighting anyone else. Nah, uh, I lost my rival recently. It's a funny story, nothing important. What? 
Me too, girl. Okay, true time. I was just stepping to that rock as a rival. My real rival moved on to a new story arc with a new, more powerful rival. Oh. Uh, your former rival sounds like a douche. Word. My only other prospect was transitioning into the reluctant Sudder grumpy ally, but fuck it, I was born for the rival life. The I've ever met. I feel you. My former rival moved onto the story arc of becoming a useless whip. But hey, I only rival platonically, okay? I prefer to be clear up front. No, 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 no me too. Rival celebrities is not my thing. It's all just punches and indirect self growth. Anyway, this is my number if you want your ass beaten any day. My god, this is the ace dream. I didn't realize I had to be buff to, to live as as an ace. We'll see whose ass gets beaten. Sure, Dahlia, we'll see. And then she leaves in a way that's so epic that you can actually hear what sounds like a bitch in anime song. Let's seize the summer! Yeah! Uh, Dahlia's back! Thanks, Chatterbox. Dahlia hugs you. The stretch of her hugs give you plus two charm, and the intense J pop in the background gives you plus one boldness. Ooh! Everybody chooses a song, say your choice out loud, and the other players, uh, and the other players before clicking. Guys, no. Guys, no. Call me, maybe. All right, guys, let's uh, let's let's just because you guys can name a Miku song to throw me off. Doesn't mean I'll always choose you guys. Every time you you throw me Miku my way. We are trying to sabotage each other now. Player order is decided based on which song would be the least romantic song to meet your soulmate. Start debating now. Oh god, Call Me Maybe is romantic. I guess I have to choose you guys. The Van Polka? Okay. Okay, it will work. It will work sometimes, but the more times you do it, the more I won't uh, I won't be able to honor that. Okay. The world is mine is all bratty, unromantic until the very very end. All right. Okay, what are you guys gonna go for? Haunted house? I generally was just picking the first song I remembered. I know. House? Okay. Oh, that's cute! Day, you ventured into the haunted manor. Everything is going fine, and you're reassured in how brave you are. And suddenly, a ghost, or is it just someone wearing a blanket with two holes, so hard to tell the difference, appears and whispers in your ears. Remember, one day you'll be long gone, and all will remember you. 
how to struggle you endure to become a better version of yourself both personally and professionally will eventually mean nothing. Thanks, house! The ghost leaves you while you take all that in, gaining positive boldness in the process. You're coming from that interaction when Dahlia almost tramples you with her rock hard calves. Fear not, puny mortals! Dahlia oh, hey, Chatterbox! Then see you beyond the majestic silhouette of my own flexing muscles! I've got to stay in top physical condition if I'm ever going to earn my FBI agent badge before the end of the summer. You're about to explain to Dollar how that's a different kind of badge than she probably think it is. When you notice, another Dahlia in the vicinity? What the fuck? Guys, what is this? This is the teacher? Aww. Uh, what are you looking at, Chatterbox? I'm flexing my quads right now. You should be looking at... Me? Who are you, stranger? Who looks almost exactly like me. Explain yourself at once. Rawr, rawr, rawr. I'm Dahlia. Rawr, rawr. Oh, that's cute. And the voice. Uh, I don't look like you. You look like me because I'm Dahlia Aquino. Rawr, rawr, rawr. You're not me, I am! You lack the necessary muscles! On the contrary, since I'm the real Dahlia Aquino, the real Dahlia Aquino looks like this. And since you don't look like this... <gasps> I'm the imposter? Sus. But how could it be? Am I such a master of disguise that I've fooled even myself? <laughs> No, you're not a master of disguise. But I am. Oh. That's her fudge. Hi, kids. That's right, Dahlia. It was me all along. You couldn't tell because I was wearing a mask. <laughs> oh, wait. I don't have an old man voice. Your ingenuity truly knows no bounds, counselor. If only had your mastery of the art of infiltration. I might make a better candidate for the FBI. Alas, my flawless blue skin and extreme handsomeness render me totally unfit for undercover work. Yeah, handsome. Yeah. Oh, man. There's at her apps. And why? Even if I pose as a contestant in the beauty pageant in order to stop a domestic terror plot in a fun filled romp starring Sandra Bullock. I'd likely render myself too conspicuous due to winning so hard. This is chaos! Please, Counselor of Lodge, teach me your ways. I am willing to devote all my time to this. Eschewing all romantic relationships in the meantime. Oh no! What? No, fuck that! Show Dolly that you're the better camouflage shooter by suggesting some place where her natural acid should really help her blend in. Adalia Kino Cosplay Contest or Utopian Society of Buff Smurfs? Uh... Is the cosplay contest charm or creativity?
You guys want two? Yes, I got the whooper! Whoopee boy! My whoopee whoopee boy! Alright, let's do the cosplay contest. Oh, it was fun. Yeah, of course. The third international cos cosplay competition for Dalio Akina Dress Up, which happens to be going on right now. Why didn't I think of that? Mm. Probably because you're not a master of disguise like me. Or to a lesser extent, Chatterbox. This is just like going undercover at the Miss Universe pageant, only better because there'll be more of me there. Uh, gotta go. I got my whoopee go boy. Come on, chatter boys, help me get ready for a thick. What the? Thick dad. Oh, that was the. That was the the international. Cosplay contest of Dahlia Aquino. Okay, okay, that's funny. Tune to the Thick Dad dressing room. Oh, that's so cool! Alright, we've only got a few hours to prepare my disguise. Let's think. What would Dahlia wear to Dahlia cosplay competition? You suggest the outfit she's currently wearing. That's genius! A true warrior makes use of her surroundings and clothes are totally surroundings. Oh, we have seven people. Hi! Hi, guys! Sound off in chat. But clothes are only the beginning. A true master of disguise may mix everything from their suspect's gait to their way of talking. How do I learn to walk and talk like Dahlia? You suggest walking and talking like the way she normally walks and talks. Are you sure? I feel like I should be doing more to prepare. Let me see. Dial walks past the floor left my skirt and her movements. Oh my god, you're right. It's as if I've been training my entire life for this job. They'll never know it's me and they're just flawless Dahlia's disguise. Couldn't agree more. You leave Dahlia to stare intensely at her own reflection for character research. Enjoy the excited audience. Oh my god! Oh my god, there's actually a, a thing for this scenario. It's a great show! You've never seen so many buff blue babes in your life. Unfortunately though, Dahlia only went second place. You'll assume she'll be crushed. Crushed? I'm delighted! It means that my Dahlia in person either disguise was so ch convincing no one could tell I was the real Dahlia. Plus, did you see the first place contestant? She's flawless. I'm flattered to even be in the same contestant as such a professional. Here she comes now. <laughs> okay, that's so funny. Uh. Oh, hello there. It's me, Dahlia, winner of the Dahlia contest. Ra ra ra. I'm beautiful, aren't I? She sure is. So beautiful that just spending all day looking at people pretending to be her has instilled you with plus two bonus and plus one creativity. I love this cat cat alert. Uh. uh. Was Calculus their charm or creativity? Aside from smarts.
He's fun. Okay. I'll do... I'll do one fun, and then everything else is smart. Oh, Brian! You got attacked by a goose. That day, you go down and see what's at the bottom of the lake. Okay! Find a comic book. You pick it up, but it's so interesting you stay there reading it. This is bad, since you cannot hold your breath indefinitely. I think, as a zombie, you can. You rush to the surface, but before getting there, you, you drown a little and some wa wa lake water gets into your mouth. Gross. You swallow some weird stuff that was in the lake water, like a whole jellyfish and dusty fun. What's that doing there? You take a break from Tom Foley to spend a few quiet moments with Calculester, romantically perusing some spreadsheets. Birds are lovely and important. Oh, the Yepis plant story line. This Fred Bethany is an index of every plant I have cared for during my short lifetime. Look here! This Buckaroo Bonsai, there is Robert Plantinson, and there and here's the entry for Jennifer and Lawrence. Oh, oh dear. Oh no! Wait! Why did he scream? So, uh, which of us, uh, which of us rolling with difficulty people are going to, uh, is going to write fanfiction of Monster Cap with, uh, the rolling with difficulty group? According to this spreadsheet, I have severely neglected poor Jennifer. Your feeding, watering, and sunlight are all within an unacceptable range. But look here. That Lister directs your attention to a column labeled Emotional Development! Oh, no, no. <laughs> Emotional Development! 13.5. Statistically, that is the most immature number. I must find time to take her into the woods to be mentored by an older, wiser plan. Where's that action? I'm back. Had to just fix something that was making me uncomfortable. Welcome back! For is it a sphinx cat, right? Or or is it a bat? Or a goblin? Better make that trip soon, naive summer camper, because the woods will be here for much longer. <laughs> No way to pick. <laughs> Indeed, all organic life is fleeting, but I do not think it calls for laughter. Uh, but if I didn't laugh, how would you know I was an evil CEO? Mr. Pop is the name, building shopping malls the game. Hmm. How do I how do I do his voice? 
Hmm, perhaps I should introduce myself. Yes, your Papas is the name, and turning beloved summer camps into shopping malls is my name. Game. A game which I intend to play here at Camp Spooky by buying it and turning it into shopping mall. I do not understand. What leads you to believe that this is a good location for a shopping mall? What are your site selection criteria? Oh, this will be a shopping mall. That's easy. When deciding where to build a shopping mall, I always consider three things. Acreage, local infrastructure, and how many hundreds of youths it will accept, upset. As the saying goes, you can't build a shopping mall without accepting a few youths. But I didn't get here where I am today by settling just for just a few. Oh, dear. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. oh yay! Capitalist! Oh dear. According to the specific criteria, Camp Spooky is indeed the ideal location for a shopping mall. Oh dear. Oh no. I do not support the wholesale destruction of this camp and its environs. But I feel compelled to bow to superior logic. What can I do? Oh no. If Camp Spooky is replaced with a shopping mall, where are you gonna mac? The food court? Gross! There's only one way out. We've got to suggest a shopping mall location that would upset even more youths than building it here. That's not communist agenda! But oh well. According to all of pop culture, the best place to build a shopping mall is the 1980s. Kids hate when you take away their video games. Build a shopping mall in Fortnite. Oh shit, which one is smarts? Probably neither. I think I think I'm gonna go with uh, I am charming let's hope either one fits their criteria as long as not uh, one of them is not boldness Uh, I'll say this. Not so creative. Oh, shit. No. All right, guys, there's uh, there's uh, the 80s. Is interesting. That's just sort of outside of the space time continuum thinking we need in this business. Patrick, run the numbers on building a shopping mall in the 80s. No, don't tell me that's impossible. I own the trademark on the impossible. The numbers bear out your suggestion, Panini. Looks like we'll be starting construction in negative 40 years. But friend, Mr. Papas, in time travel feasible? I seem to recall it body with the principles of causality and conservation of energy. Anything is feasible if you're rich enough. The government started se selling temporal offsets years ago. I'll just buy a few and head back to the 80s. Or you can say anything Papas and his intern have vanished in the buff of commerce. We successfully remove him not only from here but from now? He appeared to have saved camp from Panini and yet an important question remains. Oh, there's an Amorith in chat. I don't know what that looks like. Will setting loose and exploiting CEO several decades in the past have del deleterious effects on the timeline? 
You sure calculate Esther that there's nothing to worry about. Anything the CEO intends to do has from your perspective already happened. Uh calf buys a Pokeballs. Nope, I didn't catch it. At least if you subscribe to the fixed time I'd hear your time travel. Oh no, the future is a shopping mall. Oh no, it seems that Mr. Papa subscribed to the Back to the Future theory instead. The present has transformed into a mall based cyberpunk dystopia. You have no idea what he's talking about. Things have always been this way. You adjust your face implants and take a moody sip from your orange Julius. Screaming. We have to travel back in time and undo the damage he's done. We cannot let him get away with this. Our calculator is clear. We've been too many cyber drops. You'll have to take him in for repairs. Maybe if you can sell a kidney at Orchid Bart, you could cover the cost. You check the time on your holographic skin. You got it that sharper image. Just like everything you own. It's, it's time for a shift. You're a mall security guard. Everyone is a mall security guard. Calculus leads a robot uprising that topples your corporate obos and turns this particular area of the Mega Ball into a kooky summer camp. But it's no thanks to you. You'll never forget the towering food courts and blinky fluorescent that you grew up with. The memories will rob you of negative too fun and negative creativity. Oh no! Everybody choose an object. Say your choice out loud to the other players before clicking. Uh... My mouse. That slap? Okay. Play your orders decided based on the likelihood that chosen object will no longer be re relevant to society in 100 years. Start debating now. If, is the planet even gonna be here in 100 years? Can we do random on this? Thanks, guys. All right. Hey, it's night. So this is our uh, camp thingy. Uh, we could sit by ourselves. We could just chill. So this will leave the space open. Uh, this is the cafeteria portion of the game. Or we could sit with Mr. Mothman for, I think, stats? Or we could sit with our beloved. The bench actually lets us help improve each other's stats, but only if we choose to sit together. Oh, that's new. Do you guys want to try it once? Oh, moth is gossip. We can fuck each other over with them. Do you guys want to sit, sit together?
for this round. Okay. You sit in the log by yourself. Some nights are for flirting with your friends and your endless bid for romance and or sex. But some nights are for spreading spread some nights are for spreading ridiculous rumors and frolicking in the chaos. But tonight it seems is for sitting with your friends. So the question is, will your friends see it that way too? We'll see. Yay! <laughs> you guys sit with me! Hold up. Uh, I'm sharing I'm sharing our date night. No one is ruining our date night. If anyone does, we stab him, okay? Box and Penny your friends. Yes, we are friends. Flirting with the love interest of this game can get exhausting, and you two need to recharge from all that. Propose a light activity to replace the harsh dating sim shenanigans with some homey quality time. What are we gonna do, guys? Studying the home nits together, boosting each other's self esteem with homey related puns and compliments. Deadly, a deadly homing missile. Rewriting Homer's Ilya to make it homier. Cooking a homie made homilet. Recovery stats from that deal, so you choose based on what helps you. We could study or we could do this. We could write fan fiction all night. Then or a cookie home homemade. Which one is fun?
Uh, what do you guys need? Uh, hey yo, where are we at? I haven't played this game in a hot minute. Um, you guys are going for the Tiana girl? Hi, hi lap. And I'm going for, um... Okay, Lester. But uh, t today we're s we're sitting together in the campfire. Okay. Uh, studying. And I could try my hand again with uh, fun. Studying the homing heads together. You tell your homie about your idea and they're all in. You gain plus five smarts. <gasps> Whoa! Through the sheer power of spending the night studying the homing heads together. And you? You gain plus one boldness, plus one cruelty, plus one charm, and plus one fun just by spending time with your homie. By the end of it, you can't help but wonder, is it okay to kiss your homies goodnight? Uh-huh. 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 Yes? In a platonic way, of course. Ooh, so that's how it works. It focuses on the first one to sit down. Well, I could... Yeah, because of this now I can... Uh... I just need to go camp. And uh, I could focus on upping my fun. Okay, kiss you guys goodnight. Let's trade places. Everyone choose a food, say your choice out loud, and the other player to the other place before clicking. I like cookies, peppermint cookies. Baked potato with garlic butter. What do you guys? Uh, what do you, what do the others like? I also like a lot of Filipino sweets, especially if it's ube. But if it's um if ube is not um not available, I would go for strawberry. Poutine? Oh, that's good too. Do you guys like pizza? If I get Hypno, I'm selling him. Oh yeah, definitely. Nope, didn't get him. Try again. I like a, a steel type style pizza.
Okay. The Tux Pizza where the se they season the crust. Oh, that's so good. Hypno Escape, no one caught it. Oh, evil, evil. Player orders decided based on how likely it would be to eat the food in the survival scenario with the caveat that it's been expired for 10 years. Start debating now. You know what? Let's random this. You guys go first. So many options. Uh, and I thought this was still gonna be two hours. Uh, where are you guys going? Haunted, haunted mansion. Okay. That day you explored the haunted ma manor basement only to find it has a sub basement. The sub basement is full of haunted chairs and the staircase to a sub sub basement, and the sub sub basement is a haunted wine cellar. <coughs> oh, we're us, I love him. The sub 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 basement is a haunted nightclub for ghosts who don't like wine. They serve haunted spirits. Ha! Huh. The sub basement to the 10th power is a subway. You eat a foot log Reuben and continue your travels. Guys. Guys, you went to the back rooms. Oh! Uh. Uh. Chatterbox. So. In. Um, here. In, um, okay, that's my, um, that's my VOD channel. Um, in the previous session, chat chose, um, Oz. And then, um, we always, uh, they will always get, um, Uh, what you call this? Uh, and um, in the previous session, you uh, we named ourselves Chatterbox. You eventually check a walkthrough and find out the haunted man who can spawn an infinite amount of sub basements. Ooh. You may only make it as far as the 89th level, which is a Dom sub leather room. You gain plus two bonus from the horrors you witness there. Later, you're snooping around for spooky things when you run into a six foot wall of impenetrable muscle. Kiana? Nothing can scare Dahlia. Hey, Chatterbox! What are you screaming for? This place isn't that scary. What? Like a few several heads and visions of my grandpa screaming in horrendous pain are gonna freak me out? Where I'm from, you can buy that stuff at Ikea. This is... Huh? What the hell? Is that me in 20 years? No! I can't lose my buff, terrified beauty! My swollenness is my best feature! Huh? <sighs> You're boy, chat! Be right back getting rice. I don't know whether I should be offended or smug that my appearance is your worst fear. By the way, since you guys are like 15 boldness, you can also date Damien. So 
Ugh, what are you doing here, daddy's boy? Someone shot off the AC in your private condo? <laughs> no! I came here for the same reason I go anywhere. I wanted to set shit on fire. But apparently this building is flame retarded. I held a blowtorch next to the wooden staircase and nothing happened. It was the scariest shit I'd seen. No, you tramping around here without makeup is the scariest shit that you've ever seen. Ah, burn. Don't say burn, that word has no power here. Hi, back on Panini. Can't we do both at once though? Can you? Well, they argue, you go to find the haunted bathroom to take a spooky piss when you hear the sound of a trap being deployed. Along with Damon and Dahlia screaming in unison. Ah. You turn back and see them trapped in the fish net that appears to have dropped from the ceiling. Standing underneath are a group of teenagers. Oh no. And a great day. Don't sue us, Warner Brothers. I'm no Frank Welker. Great job, everybody, says the blonde leader looking teen. I knew the clueless crew would catch these crooks, no problem. Like, what do you mean, no problem? As the skinny stoner seen. I'm not gonna say that. Scoo Scoop and I were scared stiff, and like, we're almost out of dog treats. Rarry, says the dog. Wait, the dog screw. Wait, the fucking dog talks? And it's becoming for the other team to pass the blunt? Ah! Runs out here right now before I stab your eyeballs out and shove them up for your asses like anal beads. Wow. Christ the redhead and teen, Mr. Mrs. Mrs. Guckenheimer really mad that we ruined their plot to drive down the price of this popper property. And we sell it for cheap. Oh, they're capitalists. Okay, we can dunk at them. I checked the secret endings. There's none where you can date both of them. Wait, you think we're real estate agents? Fuck off. Gross, you think we're married? Uh. Fuck off. Look, whoever you think you've got, it's not us. We're not real estate agents, we're demons. We're way more front about the whole eternity of damnable torture than most landlords and don't bother hiding any of the details in the contract. Uh, well, that's not entirely true. My dads do make a lot of their money by selling off land in the 8th circle of hell. Oh no, they're landlord. Famous dads are la landlords too. The I you fucking laves, always abusing your power and speculating with your crappy land. Viva la revolution! It's too late, Guggenheimer, says the routine. How do I do Velma's voice? Oh. I mean, since Velma was voiced by Mindy Kaling and she uh, kind of ruined it for everyone. To be fair, it is hell. You know what? Yeah, that's true. It's too late, Guggenheimer, say the nerdy team. As soon as I find the glasses, we'll tear those stupid masks off your face and send you to prison. Okay, but seriously, can somebody help me find them? I can't see shit. Seems like these weirdo teens want to rip Damon and Dahlia's faces off, but you like those faces and want to smooch them. You need to save them. Using clueless crew logic. 
They're gay and support their son no matter what and will like you in the roots where you meet him. I give them a pass since it's only selling, not renting. Rounds over your skull and hit the head of a real estate day so you'd rip off your own face and present yourself as a true villain. That's boldness. Point out that it's problematic that these kids invade people's homes, trap them against their will, and rip off their friends without their consent. Who's the real criminal? Uh, which one is do you guys want? Or which one do you think uh, stats would fit you guys? Top? One. Uh, how about how about lamp and Ren? Up. Okay. So bold. You quickly perform a powerful and very specific spell that you learn for this exact purpose, and it works! It hurts like a bitch, but it still works. I mean, it shouldn't, it shouldn't hurt for Oz because he's a shadow demon. You run out to the hall where Demon and Dale are dangling and rip off your face. You don't feel any better, but it's worth the pain. Zoinks! So the soldiers here is the real cooking hammer, but the rock. Rick a rick! screams the dog. You introduce yourself as Alexander Guggenheimer III, an unscrupulous real estate agent whose plan was to drive down the manor's value and buy it at a quarter of its price. Your performance is convincing, especially since you didn't know this property was owned on or for sale earlier. Is the persona of the sleazy real agent estate agent processing you? Apparently, yeah, you end up selling the teens on an even spookier, hauntedier mansion on the other side of camp that you didn't even know about. They're especially drawn in by the promise of an enormous kitchen, wraparound backgrounds, walls, and hallways full of doors that break the law of physics. You cut down Damon and Dahlia after they leave. You're in charge now. That was fucking awesome, Chatterbox. Will you just rip your face off like that with no regard for your personal safety? I can't wait to practice it later. Such an yeah, and I love what you've done with your skull. Like, did you get Borox or something? It really brings out the salesman in your eyes. Got to go, Panini. Enjoy the rest of the stream. Thank you. Thank you for staying, Sporks. Good night. Or at least get rest. Dal Dalian David stitch your face back on. It's almost as painful as when you first surfed up. But hey, they're impressed and safe, and you gain plus two charm and plus one bonus. Nice. I think you guys are um You guys are doing well in the stats section, so you can explore other options now. Is there a place where I can just do nothing? <laughs> did, did Brian say that he doesn't want to do anything? That's so funny. I really like that the goose is um hitting him over here. You decide to bring a metal detector to the lake that day and you start to reach for buried treasure. She wants you to have one stat above all else, so we may have to focus no matter what long. Do you guys know how many? I think you're good in boldness for now. But 
Do you know what number for boldness? You find a keychain, a tin box of steel cookies, which you eat anyway, and a glowing chalice that the Knights Templar come to call to confiscate for some reason. Hey! Hey! If I find the Holy Grail, I wouldn't give it to the Knights Templar. Assassin's Creed told me as such. It says 15 or above. So yeah. Uh I think you want to at least normalize some of these stats like above 10 for some of the um for some of the decisions, you know. But best of all, you managed to find some genuine si silver plated plus two funds. Four. We'll work on smarts. Alright. Here a tremendous splash and look over to see Calculus through dragging himself out of the lane, clutching a seagull by the roots. I need to reboot. Oh, hello, friend Panini. Did you not see? I did not see you there because my optical use are malfunctioning due to uncontrolled wetness. Mm. I am in this state because of a good deed I was authentic to perform. <gasps> the seagull, you see, was harassing the fish that live in the lake. It may have been. He may even have been attempting to eat them. Oh, Calculester. I told him to stop, but my real recent arguments and pamphlets on the benefits of a vege uh, vegetarian diet failed to sway him. Instead, he countered my rhetoric by attacking my face and startling me into the lake. What? <laughs> Don't mind my peek there. I expected some limited contact with moisture during my stay at camp, and so I waterproof my entire body from the waist down. But I did not anticipate being dragged in the lake by a expletive not found seagull. Now I am completely soaked, and I am worried that I will begin to malfunction. What is that face? What is this? Oh, is it this? Server error. Error. I would run my own diagnostics to confirm, but I'm currently busy preventing the missiles on my chest from firing at random. WHAT MISSILES?! It's a dick? Oh no! Oh! Oh my god! You'd love to explore the implications of calculator's horny drive malfunctioning, but the midsole things sound a little like a more pressing concern. He's uh he's real horny. Oh boy. Unfortunately, you left your enormous double fries at home. How are you going to dry him out before things get worse? Be moisturizing with some extremely dry British humor. You're always solving other people's problems. Stand your ground, stack. It's the seagull's fault, so make the seagull fix it. This is why I should have upped my other stats. Oh, this is so bad. This charm. Okay. 
I think it's this. <gasps> Not so fun! Are you serious? You have a look in your eyes which facial recognition algorithms and it is a slight bunny. Do you have a solution to my plight? Given the watery nature of Kaka's predicament, you say it seems the solution is a spy. You appear to be making a joke, but as my humor process is like completely immersed in water, I am unable to appreciate it. In any case, I'm still quite wet. If the unattractiveness of your fellow gappers is anything to go by, you smoke. He's probably the only one. Due to the aforementioned question, I can't tell whether you're being funny or me. Oh. Also, I cannot tell the difference between my arms and my legs. You don't understand. You're being the cleverest asshole you can, but somehow fate to drive the to circuits. Could it be that psychics doesn't respond so poorly to poorly conceived plans that hinge entirely at bots being able to manipulate reality? No, that would be ridiculous. The real problem is that your dry humor has been drying you out the entire time. You look down your hands to find them totally desiccated. The dehydration process once begun can't be stopped. You watch in horror as he shrivel into a mummified corpse. Well, I deserve that. Let's break the crowd to calculate some fail. Unable to give a shit. Fair, to be honest. You continue to shrivel until you're totally unable to move. It feels not good. Not that you'll get fed to mommy though. The other mom's still excited to bomb you. But hashtag mommy problems. That only makes things worse because the is a self centered mummy bro who's only popular because his dad's a pharaoh. Seeing that you're totally blown your chance to help him with this problem, Calculator gives up and blows himself with an identical body he keeps for emergency. The only difference between this body and his previous one is that it loads from a previous save state where Calculator likes you a lot, late, lot less. You lose not negative 2 charts and negative 1 boldness. Oh no! You have revealed society in a test that it can totally bad bad thing from this new size statement. Player orders based on what you'd prefer to ban. Ah, let's just randomize it. I am going to the take a nap. They do, guys. Uh, I think I'm gonna do plus 15 smarts. Well, hack you to do what's your approach when NPC has a quest for you. You can tell if she's an NPC because she only says the same four things over and over, keeps doing the same idle animation. NPC's quest is to deliver a very important scroll to her father. She makes it extremely clear that no one else is allowed to read or interpret the things for them. Read it, of course. It turns out it's her father's secret recipe with the perfect peach bubble. Looks like her dad is never going to make that fame the certain time for the NPC family potluck because he eat the recipe scroll and gain plus his smarts. Oh my god! Sky is clear, the birds are singing, and you, a robot, a cursed monster slayer, and a death bringing reaper are merrily skipping through the woods, hunting a leprechaun. Guys seen any loot around here? So what's the deal with killing this leprechaun? How many experience points am I gonna get? Do I get a sneak bonus if I attack from behind? Error. Due to the six mats extinction, the slaying of uh, leprechauns is inadvisable. They are considered endangered by the United Monsters Nation. Oh, not another game. Yeah, I'm not interested in working today. I figured we'd grab him, get some sweet pics for the gram, and stick a pot of gold emoji on there, then release him and call it a day. Oh no, I didn't I didn't plan for a voice for Milo this soon. These are all the people I actually want to date! <sighs> speaking of the cram, uh, speaking of the cram, this is one of the only spots in the woods I haven't posted a pic of yet. Hop on in everyone, it's selfie time! You got around for a cute pic of 
full of ironic duck face dapping and bunny ears. Lit. Uploading, uploading, uploading. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. I am using hate idiomatically here because technically I feel nothing. But there appears to be no reception here. What? Ah, that's such bullshit. With no connectivity, my party has lost their buffs. Totally non optimal. Recalculus your schemes, it's so funny. Dude. My memories are unable to back up, and with no internet access, I am unable to continuously learn and download updated information to correct any mistakes. What if I become racist? What if I connect to the internet and hashtag calculator Lester is over? It's trending because I have become problematic. My phone. Whoa, it's Milo's um, Milo's eyes, Milo's eyes and nails changed. Got the heart on their chest. Hi. Worried? If I don't post in the next five minutes, all of my followers would think I've died, and I would even be online to re reap the pity likes. <laughs> hey, chill out, guy. Being online is everything. <gasps> it's just hang time and order a pizza. <gasps> we can't eat. We can't. We have no service. Where am I gonna get pizza? We need the internet stat! X. Seems like your friends are spiling out of control. Of course, you could use this as a teachable moment about your extreme dependence on the internet. But you're not going to do that. Lol, you're taking the easy way out and snagging the net. Here's how. What we need is a long wireless antenna. Hey, wait, what's that between your legs, Calculester? What the f? You just need to lure the internet out to do it. It's quick, create some content. Shit. These are none of my stats. What is going on? This is definitely bonus. I'm gonna feel this. Oh. I keep feeling, guys. Are you gonna eat that? Ooh. I need to reboot. So sad. As your friends start to argue between extreme mosquito swatting let's play versus novel and sonic fanfiction, you have some realization. Labeling all of the many possible artistic achievements in life simply as content created for fish for bitch to work. Share the solution with a perpetual hmm. That's Honestly, terrible content. Oh, their, their, their colors change again! For real, no one like to describe to the potential ship. They start brainstorming and tell me our ideas, but you are not invited to pitch your favorite crossover ship. Even though it's Sailor Mercury and Mr. Monopoly. Negative two smarts and negative one fun. So many options. Oh. 
Which, where are you guys going? Monster camp is so much harder. I guess everyone is out right now. Uh, here are, uh, for you, Dan, here are the stats list. Go to the haunted manor to gain some gold since you found a brochure that promised some boldness if you visited. Instead, you find a mischievous demon. It was all who used to lure here. Demon take nine years of your life. You take the demon to court for misleading the advertising. Juries and found a mischievous demon, so you could be to give you years of your life up. So you win and the demon has to give you plus two. Okay. You find Dahlia sitting with her legs crossed and her palms pressed together. The post reminds you of meditation that all would be very calm now. Dahlia was screaming at the top of her lungs. Ah! Tap Dahlia on your extremely muscular shoulder and ask what's going on. Hey, hey Chatterbox! I was just getting a screaming meditation session. Some of my raw power can stop raining even for a single moment. It is proof that I need even more training. Speaking of which, being at camp actually opens up some unique training opportunities. I saw this documentary the other day about the warrior who's in who is able to harness the power of nature itself. The warrior studied for years in the toads of Mount Nyoboku, and once the toads learned to trust him, they taught him their special jutsu. Holy heck. It's Naruto. All that nature training really paid off in the next stuff where the warrior defeated King Dragon in the Dark Tournament of Heroes. No wait, this is Pro Z D. It's King Dragon. Oh. To be honest, Chatterbox, I'm kind of struggling to harness nature's power. I can't find a single voice toad, and all the toads I found are idiots. Hi, Cat. Welcome back. This is so frustrating. I am surrounded by nature right now, but I just can't figure out how to harness it. Suddenly, Dahlia turns away from you and starts shouting at the nearby tree. Show me your secret jutsu! I promise that I'll only use your power when I really need it, like when anyone challenged me for any reason or whenever I feel like it. Giving Dahlia the power of nature sounds kind of terrifying, but also kind of hot, like in a poison ivy tentacle line series. Help her do it. To gain the power of nature, you must first defeat nature, devour a salad. To gain the power of nature, you must be one with nature, become a salad.
We have Alfredo. Alfredo is a salad. Oh, pasta. It's a salad. One feels bolder. Alright. To gain the power of nature, you must first defeat the devour salad. So bold. Tell Dai that eating salad will literally mean that she'll be getting her power and energy from nature itself. That plan makes perfect sense. It's exactly what I've been doing with arsenic for years. Every day, I eat a little bit of arsenic in the hopes of becoming as powerful as arsenic. It didn't work exactly as planned, but I still have a super strong immunity to arsenic. That's not nothing. And since nature and arsenic are basically the same thing, if I eat a salad every day, I will be immune to nature. No, that's not what you meant, but you tried to point out to Dali that nature and arsenic are slightly different things, but she's too busy eating aragula. Aragula? Closer to you. After a week of eating salads every day, Dali finds you. Admittedly, she looks great. Getting enough fiber is good for the skin. Thanks to your idea of completing my train, my last few days I've eaten five whole salads, including the salad bowls. Mm. By this point, I obviously must be immune to nature, and to test my new plus, I thought up a series of nature immunity tests. <laughs> I'm gonna start by hugging a beehive, and then do some dental work on a wolf, and finally I'm gonna use an eel as a belt! You win, terrified the Dal Dalia's nature test. She runs at the beehive, ours open wide for a bear hug, and it works. The bees happily hug Dahlia. Soon after, she's made a fashionable eel belt and perfectly removed the wisdom teeth of all the wolves in the forest. Honestly, the animals are probably too afraid of all the artisanic in her bloodstream to attack her. I am freaking immune to nature. With my new powers of all the plants and animals in the forest, shall bend a meal and join my army. It's chicken and broccoli. You can't actually do that with arsenic. It's metallic poison, but you can with cyanide. Oh no. This is and also, I shall never get another mosquito bite. Hell yeah! <laughs> Dahlia is so excited about her new nature powers that she decided to make a celebrity salad for you two to spit. She's cheap liquid and avocado, even though it's an extra 0.15 cents. You're touched by Dahlia's kind gesture, but as soon as you take a bite, you, you, you feel your throat really slow. I forgot to ask if you're allergic to arsenic. Since I muted it, I put in a healthy dose of in all of my salad dressing. Oh no. Even though your immune system is literally shutting down, the war from Dahlia's affection fills your heart. You lose some control over your nervous system, but you gain plus two creativity and plus one boldness. Worth it. Everybody choose a food again? Well, I'm eating a matcha bun. So that. Ben says ramen. Play orders decided on which food to choose to have a month to have in monstrous quantities in the survival scenario. Start debating now. Matcha buns? it because it doesn't say with or without topics. All right, everyone. Pack some marshmallows. If anyone wants some. You guys want to sit with your girl? Although calculus is here. Do you want stat help again? Yeah, absolutely, I do.
Stop bench. Yay! Thanks, guys. You gotta pick the one you don't want to stat for this time since we'd be the first to sit. I mean, you guys are doing well with your girls, so... Uh... I don't need smarts. I think I'm good there. You sit on the log by yourself. Maybe one of your friends will join you. You can spend the evening having fun and make a summer movie. Or maybe no one knows if you will be once and for all that moments of death and there's no hope left in this universe. That's kind of spooky for you. Always have fun silly that caught me. Now let's see what this night has planned for you. So close to sleep time, yet so far. This is the chatterbox. Too bond of me being the only self-aware video game character sitting around the campfire. Can have a resistance to arts and it could just take a few hundred years and some genomes changes. Interesting. You laugh as your companions jump through hoops to gain stats and love voice out of those six matter in jail. Suddenly, but you know, if you were to get stats in anything, it'd be the two cool for school, school stat. The living work of art stat. The ooh stat. The angelic laughter stat. The smexy stat. Oh, hi snooze. Go ahead and pick for us. Oh, this uh, this one's mine. Uh, I need so much boldness. So I'll click this. Too cool for for school stat. Shock, you have no idea where the king could be that you're actually for for them? How could this be? Whoa! Meanwhile, Charbox again plus five bonus from your sweet compliment. Oh, Kath, you were right. You were right, shit! Uh, so you guys are super bold now. Hope we get to take the two for, for school stats that together. Maybe next time. Bring out your flask! Uh, not available in sharing controller. I'll take the gap.
prepare you a drink? Give me just a drink that time. Liam, Liam, Liam. Hi, Bean. There's a missing box with a second option. It could be better. Or it could be worse, but we'll do this for sure. It will be mysterious. And these things look just what and these eggs. Uh, just whatever you want. And I'm not responsible for whatever you put in your mouth. Panini, your voice is so going so high, your mic is randomly not picking it up. Yeah, one is our dancing buddy from last game. I'm a wizard in training. For you to catch my conco concoction is somewhere between kind and reckless. Get ready and good luck. So, chat. No idea if I got the recipe right. Wanna try it? This looks like boldness. Uh, the sangria, or it looks like a Bloody Mary. Or do you want the drink of the day? Oh no no, that's the drink of day. Otherwise, you always have a mystery box. Okay, uh Kath wants to take the sangria. What uh Random, what do we have to lose? Uh, your stats. Safety would be good, but I'd hate to accident get the coupon drink or something, lol. Ah, oh, cause I hate to accidentally get the coupon drink. Let's go safe for now. Alright. Take it. Yeah, no, totally. I was testing your common sense. In the past, your prices, the drink you chose. Quite appealing, right? You know, if I drink that. But the real question is will you? mystery box because at this point who knows what you drink uh i'll take the cosmopolitan yeah no totally i was testing your common sense and you pass your price is the drink you chose with a lot of heart. Holy shit, you're getting charmed! If my calculations are correct, it should be... It should imbue you with the joy de vue... Uh, joy de vie? 
and the charm of the Mediterranean people. Let's do this. The Cosmopolitan received its name because it disrupts the very core of the cosmos. Damn, you guys are so bold and so charming. Any stat effect is now double for you. For better or for worse. No! Wait, is a uh, well, uh one? Oh, okay. This is the part where I leave before you puke all over me. I can I was trying to meow. It's cow. Everybody choose something good. Say your choice out loud to the other player before clicking. Food. I like good food. Yes, Ren. Panini bribery. Oh boy. Player order that decided is based on your ability to come up with a compelling title for a mu movie about the good thing. All right. I hope I choose correctly. All right, you bold, bold person. Where do you want to go? on the hiking trip with a bunch of random campers. He lives some weird adventures and shares some personal stories and secrets. You don't know their names, but they don't seem to have their own character models, but they reveal to you they're part of a different game, a survival resource managing one. There's nothing can perceive your character model. You go to the same camp yet you're part of different games. strengths and make you reflect so much about your own existence that gain plus two smarts out of it. They apparently gain plus ten berries and plus two stamina, whatever that means. What? What's this smelling people when Dolly grabs you and drags you to the lake shore? Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! You are! Once more, I need your help achieving the best summer ever. Critique my rock skipping technique. Dahlia skips a rock straight upwards. It disappears into space. Moments later, you notice a faint glimmer in the sky. It's not Dahlia's rock or the satellite Dahlia's rock the sword. It's a meteor. It crashes into the woods on the far side of the lake, turning up the giant bonfire. Ultimate campfire! Quick, tell me some campfire stories, but very loudly. You're about to tell her the one about the horny summer campers who finally boink when you're distracted by a glowing figure approaching you across the lake. Beating! That's the figure in a warm, booming voice. It is I, Calor, Harold of Summer. Calor! <gasps> 
Eleanor, it's an honor to meet you. Can you critique my rock sk skipping technique? I am here on a much more important errand. Says the spirit. Your passion for achieving the ideal summer has moved me. I have a quest for you. I have grown meat as of late due to lack of worship. The arrows of other seasons mock me and bring my power. I need you to destroy them! I will do it, noble hotman! That's going to stay, talk to them, and that's when stopping some ships, but honestly that's not great if you're up to it. Up to it. The first herald you must defeat is Vern, Herald of Spring. He's in Florida. Good luck! I make my own luck! Out of blood! Blood! Moments later, you're face to face with Vern. It turns out traveling to Florida is easy. You just mix a can of Bud Light with cough syrup and you're there. What the fuck? Uh. Sup, bros? Burn while shotgunning a hard seltzer and drinking and thinking about boobs. You're to defeat me on behalf of that nerd caller. <laughs> yeah, I'd also get a tad. A good tad is critically for is critical for the best summer ever. Ah says Burn. Doing three kex stack at once by the grace of its divine might. Suck my Easter egg, losers. No one can defeat me, he says. I'm gonna live forever. Spring break, woo! Did you see about that? It so happens that you know the perfect technique for defeating the Herald of Spring. Allergies? Remind him that spring is just a lame opening app for summer. Hoot growl! Hoot growl! Allergies! What? Says Vern, visibly nervous. <laughs> no way! A little pollen is enough to destroy the mighty spring. <laughs> oh yeah? And how about a lot of pollen? Eat this 50 pound bag of pollen that carry out for exercise sex reasons. Burn. I only eat microwave burritos and no. He lets out a tremendous sneeze. Ah, take that and this. 
Talia lifts out an enormous bag of shrimp and peanuts and starts stuffing them down Vern's throat. He screams. Stop that! Shrimp and peanuts don't have anything to do with spring! Ah! Spring shrimp! Spring shrimp! Shri shrimp season! Die! Maybe it's shrimp, or maybe it's the peanuts, or the bees, or the gallon jug of black fluid labeled Vern Poison. Whatever the cost, Vern fucking dies like a loser and you dance in the stunner shades. Summer yes, summer's victorious. Also, I have a quite few shrimp left over. Do you want to have a shrimp party? Hell yeah, shrimp party! You dunk them in the Vern Poison. It's harmless to you and it's actually quite delicious. You gain plus two gravity and plus one boldness. Is there a place where I can just do nothing? Yeah, let's go. To, let's go to. Let's go up our. Uh... Oh, he looks cute here. While oh, wandering the haunted manor, you're ambushed by a group of evil spirits! You put up a good fight, but there's just too many of them and they run away with your immortal soul. Lucky okay, you always knew this game would come and you replaced your immortal souls with a beanie baby years ago. Good fire foresight on your part, you gain plus two boldness. The beetle day at Camp Spooky and Calculester is taking the opportunity to show off his succulents. See, friend Panini, I did not want my succulents to feel left out of the camp spirit. So I have been making each of them tiny camp spooky appropriate outfits. <sighs> each one will be receiving a tiny scout sash, even tiny scout badges, and individual bathing suits they can wear while I spray them in mist. Masculet is so adorable when he talks about his plants, so you can't help but stare lovingly at his face as he speaks. Oh, I'm so whipped! <laughs> ah! For the next event, we need to raise either charm or fun, if I recall. Watch this trip on YouTube. Oh, well, well. <coughs> well, well, well. Why am I not surprised when another camper is staring intently at a screen instead of enjoying the great outdoors? Camp spooky is about electronics. Racist. It's about engaging in classic activities like scouting and swimming and doing manual labor to benefit the camp. And yet here you all are on your phones. He explained that Calculator is not in fact a phone but rather a sentient being and in fact a fellow camper under her charge. Friend Panini is right, friend camp director Miss Weaving. You and I have interacted multiple times. That's what students and their phones always say to try to justify their technology addiction and neglect their real-world responsibility. Wow, that face though. That is a good spooky face. You have left me with no choice. I'm afraid I'm going to have to confiscate all screens from you until you kick this nasty habit. Because of Flash, Camp Director... Camp director Miss Weaving grabs the skull and starts trying to put him in her pocket. Help! Help! I'm being kidnapped! No, you're not! You're being confiscated! There's a huge difference. It has to do whether I consider you a person or not. Error! Error! Rescue me, friend Panini! Rescue me from friend Cam camp director Miss Weaving, who's not being a good friend at all right now. Can't let Calculus to be kidnapped. Com Computer enough? Confiscated! Whatever! He can't be taken away! You need to find a way to conf convince Camp Director Miss Weaving that your relationship with Calculaster is far from an unhealthy addiction. Given your history of spending all your time and energy trying to impress one classmate with no regard for school or extracurriculars, this may not be true, but you still need to convince her. Show her a really unhealthy addiction by digging up your old Gar Garfield 
Conspiranoia blog. Show her you're addicted to sex and machine anonymous computership, which proves your relationship with Rhodes has been healthy for 10 months. Shit! Which one, guys? Which one do I go for? None of these are good enough! This one is definitely creativity. I'm so unhappy. Charm. Nice news. But this could be bold, and my boldness is not good. It's gonna be fun too. So very in and out at the moment. Okay, good luck. This? Which one is smart? Please, for the love of God. I think I'll choose this one because this one is it's gonna be bold. Is that this be smart? You pull out your cell phone and access your old Tumblr. You have ten, but you specifically access the Garfield one. So, so sad. <laughs> Alright, Camper Panini, I've heard more than enough. It's far more disturbing than even I could have anticipated. I thought that taking away this robe would be enough, but clearly you need far more help than the simple confiscation of your, of your friend from Pippa. I am now uncertain as to whether or not you are even am Grand Panini's friend. Based on the death of their obsession, I guess the hyperbole that friend Panini only befriended me so as to use my servers to research the Garfield conspiracy. Why oh, befriended Mr. Hewlett back, right? You start to protest, but you've heard Takas enough for one day. You can't bear to add insult to injury by lying on top of it. Instead, you rush into this field about how it may have stayed harder, but. Oh no. Hmm. I'm sorry, I'm a friend Panini, but the trust has been broken and it is too late! Guys, 
I have to I have to go on the next campfire and we have to up our stats, please. I'm begging. I found a treasure map, but there's a mark spot. Can I can I go? Please. Thank you. Oh wait, it's evening. We have to do evening first. Let's go take a nap. I think I'm gonna take a nap. So sad. We're gonna get either charm or fun anyways. I'm gonna go to the woods. I can't. Just. Just can't. The woods. Oh, uh, I'm supposed to like up my fun, right? Uh, but this is a long version, so I probably have, um, I need plus two for smarts. That day, you happen to take the same Monster Cloud class as Mamimi, the Oni girl. You didn't get good sleep last night, so you asked her if she has any weird energy she let you have once during high school. She doesn't, but she does have some very strange smelling coffee that could help. Where does this girl even find these weird restaurants? Coffee is delicious, but comes with side effects. Also, he looks so good in his, um, voice cut. You get an acquired fear of Caliphus and you go plus two creativity in your hair. After she gets struck in, another one of coaches left her some peace. And that's why she used to never let the tree remove her, no matter what plus you. Suddenly, our Ravi and Kalka come running out to do it. They stop in front of you and coach panting. What's wrong? Why are you panting? Last week, we just hunted down a wily and surprisingly fast shed held and slaughtered from me. Let's survive this, but why is fast going to provide more support for my friend or Ravi? What about Hex? They don't have long sight here today. Nah, I'm not panting. I'm just beatboxing. It's my new thing. I hate it! But that's not why you were here. We're here so you can help us figure out what to do with this dumb animal. Okay. Hmm. Oh yeah, we killed Sonic. Great. Arami drops a still warm hedgehog corpse in the ground. You can't help but notice the bright red sneakers it's wearing. Maybe those are what made it so fast. I wonder that you came to meet kids. Cooking the meat of the animals to kill is an essential skill in your wilderness to get. First, you'll have to. Hmm. No, we know how to cook meat. The next are helped it in survival. I have access to YouTube. <laughs> no, we want to figure out how to jazz this dead hog up so it's something people will actually buy. I'm excited for our food truck. We're planning to start a forest food truck, you see. We're thinking of going in the woods in your mouth. Mm -hmm. We are at loss how to proceed. Some of us have any experience in fine dining. I, for example, can eat or enjoy food. I usually just stab around the animals and hope they drop. Fully cooked ham knock, ox or hit like of mutton. And I have success mainly on the diet of Arabi's eggs and every everything bagels. Take care and never stop believing. I'm sorry, kids. It's beyond my expertise. I know about survival, not hot cuisine. After all, it was enjoyable. It, it would be survival. Good luck. Hot cuisine isn't your Eric expertise either, but you know what? Coming up with bullshit is a way to give, get people to give you money, you suggest. People don't pay for the product, they pay for the brand. Let's put some parsley on it and give it an elegant French name. This is smart security. Oh well. Hi, oh, charming! 
Oh, I passed that. Finally! But you gotta soak the meat in cold water as quick as possible after killing, or else it'll more easily get bacteria and it'll start spelling bad. Oh, I got a whole edge too. My luck is finally turning up. Hey, yeah, French French makes everything feel fancier. I mean, voulez-vous coucher avec moi sounds way more elevated than that spork, right? Hmm. Indeed. 14.6 millijeeves more elevated according to my linguistic altimeter. Hmm. Excellent. Now we just need to pick the perfect French name for a dead hedgehog with parsley. Mm -hmm. What about the uh, hedgehog bullion? We are totally winning our lane. Did anyone else get extremely aroused just now? What else have you got? Uh, Hedgehog Castle. This game gives me so many chances for sharing the trivia I got for, by being at this thing. Thank you for the random cheer. Uh, random trivia cat. It, it makes it so much fun interacting with chat, actually. Wow, it's like I just drank a potion of plus two horny. Can you top that, Cal? Perhaps we could call it a hedgehog souffle. Oh my god! No, wait. Souffle du hedgehog. Does anyone have a spare phoenix down on hand? Because I am dead. Oh yeah, throw in some ragu a la cube de boof too. Nothing beats a little souffle du hedgehog and oxtails. Nothing exists souffle du hedgehog and friends. MVP. Oh, you're sweet, Cal. This is gonna be the best food truck of all time. You all leave Scout HQ excited about the future of Cal and our RV truck. We can come up with a recipe for some knuckles RV topped off with an echidna. You retire to the campfire together and you spend the rest of the evening whispering random French words with your friends' ears to make them aroused. You gain plus four charm and plus two fun. Yeah! Oh, yes! Yes! Things are looking up! I'm alright. Knuckles, no! Uh, I'm sorry, guys. We also ate Knuckles. At least Shadow and Tails are alive, right? Uh, charm or fun? Uh, I already took fun, so charm it is. Yeah, your charm is insane. But not as insane as your boldness. Ah, I took fun already! Sorry, guys. Oh, oh, what did what did I think? Uh, I took creativity. So, uh, I'll take fun next time. You, you guys look great. Today, you decide to take a swimming class in the lake. You learn all sorts of cool swimming techniques. <laughs> the backstroke, the side stroke, the macarena stroke, the mom having a stroke. All those strokes sure are fun, though perhaps a bit medically concerning. The game plus two fun. Spot Aravi, Dahlia, and Calculester, but none of them are making out with you. This is an emergency. The chatterbox. These nerds are all getting ready to raid the water dungeon together. And I'm using it as inspiration for my slam poetry. Yeah, normally I just stole it, but I hate water levels. Back to basics. Well, as they say, Emerk makes the dreamer. 
I am unable to dream, so teamwork is the best I can hope for. Dr. Lester slips on his waterproof case. It's oddly central. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited to crush some monsters between their muscular thighs and inspire my allies with song. Introducing Dahlia Kino the Barbarian. I'll be coming along as the party accountant. The IRS has very strict reporting guidelines for dungeoneering income. <laughs> I'm not gonna cause a bunch of problems. Can't have a dungeon without problems. Not since I got saddled with you, at least. Alright, let's get in there before my buffs wear up. By the way, Aravi is so cute. My buff never wears off. I'm so excited. I may even have to get naked at some point for tactical reasons. Uh, my throat is dry. And you know what that means, guys. Hydrate or dihydrate. Strong effect on women? I wonder who that reference is. Someone draw. Someone draw dull. Someone draw the um, monster camp girls. Just getting. Um, just getting bodied by. Um, by just being near um, Kiana. Strong effect on woman and also me, noted non woman. Yes! Ah, treasure, adventure, tactical nudity. Gotta be a part of this adventuring party. They've really got such a strong. Crew, what role could you possibly fill in this water dungeon? Every party needs a CPO, Chief Puzzle Officer. That's smarts. That's a dungeon without a dominatrix. Uh, is this sharp? You guys think You better dust? Okay. Is this a oh, that was fun. Oh, what's that idea, Chatterbox? The latex armor seems very waterproof. You're okay. Whoa, have you always been this terrifyingly attractive? Mm. That whip. That looks like it has good DPS. This will be fun. Well, what are you for, Chatterbox? Let's get in there and top some creeps. What? Uh, excuse me? You don't need to be told twice. You strive into the water dungeon, Saletus. Put you in the stilt house and demand the water goblins worship you. The goblins cower blushing res 
You're sorry for all those travels we devour. We've been so naughty. Oh, I don't like reading this. You magnanimously allow them to carry you to the boss room on their backs like the bad little horse beast they are. Ah! <laughs> Strong effect on water goblins. <laughs> so does Chatterbox now have um have have stiletto boots? Nice work, Chatterbox, but King Clam Clam Wad won't be so easy. He's a battle hardened veteran oh. who Wait. How did you tie him up so fast? He tied himself up. Being king is such exhausting work, always making the decisions. He couldn't wait to have someone else take control for a change. Oh no! I am not reading that! <clears throat> and how'd you know he was weak to electricity damage? Oh, admirable. I think Chatterbox just has a natural feel for these things. Good for us. Oz is such a dumb Lavao. <laughs> Two hours and one and a half car batteries later, you're walking out of the dungeon with all the treasure you can carry. I now see summer camps appeal. My word, I shall have to overclock myself just to count all these riches. Who knew Findom was such a lucrative field? <laughs> Find them. Sure, the treasure is nice, but the real reward was watching Chatterbox dominate all those monsters. My spec back's full for the rest of the summer! <laughs> How do you, Harabi? Oh, she's super horny. I can see inside her head. Shut up, Hex! So, uh, guys? Shut up, Hex! So, Kiana and, um, Resida have the hearts of you. Ah, stop it, stop it, stop it! Harvey managed to distract everyone with a sudden burst of senseless violence, but you can see the lust in her eyes. Where's in everyone else's? He gained plus two charm and plus one fun. Wow, your charm is through the roof, guys. I will because I probably have some of my friends watching me so I will not read that everybody choose a fictional character say your choice out loud at the at the the other place before clicking. You gotta go first anyway. Oh, okay. Thanks, guys. The order orders decide based on which character chatterbox is the most similar to. Honor rolling with difficulty. Yeah, I have to go first, but to be clear, at the moment, you guys are definitely a Kiana. Everyone, uh, you guys have strong effect on women. Uh, do we have cushions for the law? And uh, I have to catch up with. I really have to catch up with Calculester, but, uh... You know what? I'll catch up on cal with Calculester. Oh shit! I just need boldness. What do you think, guys? Fetch? Okay. 
sit in the log by yourself. Uh, where to sit? You sit with me! Fuck all, the, all of these gays, romantic interests. No one is as intriguing as your pal. Oh, he's met the night. I will, I will support you guys from the sidelines. You and and um, you and um, Dahlia. I'll be so sad if you guys go don't get her. He spent the night chatting and realizing how much you have in common, such as playing visual novels in your free time. While spending time together, he is for the first time that beneath booty is. I need. I need boldness. Should be the main item on a high end restaurant menu. It's worthy of a thousand sonnets. Not smarts, has the golden ratio of Fibonacci. This is smarts. Fucking slays? Oh, okay, that's boldness. Looks like it could cure your sadness forever. Ah, uh, this is charming. Okay, fucking slays. You have a nice time together. You don't dare tell them your thoughts since player characters shouldn't be romancing each other. But your eyes give away a bit. Just by look at your booty, you get plus five boldness. And yourself had such a nice time that you gave plus one smart, plus one fifty, plus one charm, and plus one fun from the time well spent. What, wow, guys? Look at your chat uh, stats. You guys better get her. Ah uh, yes, Kat, we can do that. Insane sets. So everybody choose an ammo, say your choice out loud to the other big players before clicking. Uh you guys can go. Uh, I was going to say uh third grade anyway. I just want to go next. I have to up my boldness. Go smart since that's lowest. Alright. Woods it is. During your hike through the woods, you find a baby bird that's fallen out of his nest. You nurse him back to help with some delicious trail mix. You also give us some great advice on puberty and how to do taxes when you grow up. And the mama bird finds you and she's pissed that you're holding her baby. She tries to peck your eyes out, but you fight her off. You learn an important lesson today. Don't fuck with birds. You get close to smarts. This is a takeover. Hey, what are you doing? Not important. It's time to kill winter. I tracked her down. Her name is Bruma and she lives in Alaska in a place made of ice and crude oil. Oh, sh that's actually pretty cool. He hesitate for a month because Alaska sucks, but Dahlia triggers a travel montage before you can uncheck. One plane, one bus, and one mountain ride later, you stand before the palace of the Herald of Winter. The portcullis opens with a tremendous grating noise. Oh, that is so cool. Someone draw someone draw a little chatterbox. The parka for this adventure. Or or a little chatterbox dancing over um Spring's head. Okay, here we go. Who dares approach my sanctum? Bella's the Herald, who looks like Elsa from Frozen, but wearing a Christmas sweater emblazoned with the word This is not copyright infringement. Dahlia is here. This I Dahlia Kino! 
And I've come on behalf of the Herald of Summer to melt you into fluid. Foolish mortal, Thilf Alpha, I mean Brahma. He cannot defeat the mighty winner, is by far the superior citizen. Impossible! Summer has all the best things! Revealing swimsuits, sweating profusely, the Summer Olympics. Indeed, says Brahma, but winter has bitter cold, not being able to go outside, and the Winter Olympics. Ah, uh, she's right. Damn those figure skaters and their sexy ice bikinis. Those are not bikinis, by the way. Yeah, you cannot stand against me. Miles Brahma. Now run along. I have lunch with Sarah Fallon for an hour. No, you can't give up easily. Surely there must be a way to ruin winter and defeat its herald. Wait, you've got it! Socks! Give her socks! Invite all her relatives to a holiday dinner, then ambush them with politics! This is this is smart. Oh, that's charm. Okay. So charming. You share your fiendish plan, Nadalia. She's a fault. No, we can never do something so heinous. We must have standard. We must be noble. Find her? But you're on, you're on a quest to murder every season. But Summer... Poor Summer. Because a meter told you to. Mm, I guess there really isn't anything noble about that. What a relief. Now we can do anything. A few phone calls and handwritten invitations that their Bruma's family is at the gates of her palace demanding to be left inside. What is the meaning of this? Shouts the ice princess. It is not a holiday. Why are we Today, gathering? You died in We're gathered here to celebrate your doom. Your doom, honey? Says Bruma's mom, a hag made of ice ago. Does that mean you're finally getting married? Uh, Mom, I told you, I'm focused on my career right now, says Bruma. Fine, come in, I'll make everyone slushies. Crowd files inside, Bruma makes slushies. Uncle Yeti makes some uncomfortable comments about Grace. Uh-oh, it's a typical family gathering. Then just as everyone's sitting down to a meal of crushed flavored ice. So, how does everyone feel about current political figure? I hate him! cries Bruma's left leaning Yuki Ona half sister. I fundamentally reject his conservative position on controversial topic. We have it all backwards, says Bruma's aunt, who is a Wendigo. And also an anti vaxxer. Uh oh. According to this Facebook post, widely shared in my own conservative echo chamber. Uh oh. Incomprehensible racist diatribe. Just Uncle Ulietti. That's it, shouts Bruma. I'm moving to Costa Rica and turning into liquid. Let's seize the yeah, another life claim in the service of the Herald of Summer. Soon, only one season will remain. I assume this will have no negative impact on the climate. I refuse to examine that ex assumption. Uh oh! You do too, because you're horny. Your single minded quest and booty over all else earns you plus two fun and plus one bonus. Oh boy! Hello? Uh oh. 
Uh, we're lagging, chat. Okay, we're back. Uh, should I do fun? Should I do uh, fun or do I increase my boldness? Yeah, I'll increase my boldness. I need it. Cultists are wearing terrifying black robes standing over bloody body and chanting. You try to flee, but one of them shoves a flyer in your hand. Think, burnt your eyes, but you manage to find the words new recruits get healthcare benefits with same day sign up. What? Sold! You gain a bunch of new cultures' bodies and your new insurance covers spontaneous plus two boldness growth. Cool. You need calculus, so you can use the body to deck spooky ghosts. At first, I was skeptical of your scheme to use my hot uh, little electrical chassis as an EMF ghost detector. Grand Panini. Funny enough, I'm that is quite enjoyable. The electric disturbances emitted by ghosts affect my circuitry just like I imagine your organic drugs do. Oh no! I am giddy. <gasps> Hold on. I have detected a rather strong ghost signal. It appears that this one is not even attempting to avoid discovery. Hey, it's my girl! Did someone say drugs? Me. Hello, friend Polly. I'm also here. It's our boy. I'm also here. The two founding members of the Prank Masters together here in the same place at the same time. What an innocent coincidence. Hmm. Polly with her see-through legs, but not see-through anything else, ha. Huh? Yeah, that's what it is. A fun, non-suspicious coincidence. Really? I thought you said we were here to prank calcu- Waiters! We're here to prank calculators by using them to spell words like boobs and lol, but now that we met you, there's something you should know. Oh no, Polly. I'll kill us too. I'm pregnant. You're the father! <laughs> Guys, I am... I'm pregnant. Oh no! I'm also pregnant, but you're also the father! Aww. Scott, come on, you're gonna blow it! Ah. Oh, what? I just like to participate. Hmm. Interesting. My two most mischievous friends have just simultaneously informed me that they are both pregnant with my children. Thus it seems I have no choice but to believe them uncritically. For you see, we are friends and friends never lie to one another. Argo, I'm going to be a double father. <laughs> I mean... Engaging behavioral template responsible parental figures, shutting down childish subroutines such as have fun and find summer romance. This will seriously harm the chances of getting your robe bone with Calculester this summer. You got to find a way to defuse the situation, but how? Father oh, squared. <laughs> the problem is clearly inadequate sex head. Give Calculester a talk about the birds and the microprocessors and figure out what's really going on. 
Is this smarts? This is smarts, probably. Just because a child is not yours, imaginary, doesn't mean they don't deserve love. Shokok is that he'll always be there to help him raise his fake offspring. I mean, Pokeball money is like just stay and interact with chat and stuff. I think this is smarts. This one is, um, this is charm. Or boldness. Can I pull it off? Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll choose this. So smart. Luckily, Robot Monster Reproduction is one of the primary areas of fanfic writing. I mean, expertise. Hey, I don't like being called out. Guys, chat, the game is calling me out. That. The game is calling me out. When a ghost and a robot love each other very, very much, you explain they engage in very special courtship. This courtship can take many forms, but it also it almost always involves seductively helping each other make pottery and giving a thumbs up while descending into magma. Oh. There's no way to prove we didn't do all that stuff. My memory banks are infallible, and I have no record of such indirections. Okay, so maybe there's one super reliable way to prove that we didn't do that stuff. Weak. What about me? I'm pregnant too! No, me making real is secretary, but could be, could he actually? Oh, oh, cat, cat, we have to do it. We have to do it. So that we could give Virla all the babies. We could give him mini Kiana, even though Kiana is, um, uh, we, uh, even though Kiana already exists. And then we could, we could, um, we could, he also gets to keep Bing. And and baby drone and and Emmy and Dozen. <laughs> Cat no Panini no Cat yes Panini yes This is true. I'm afraid that your ghost robot explanation, while useful, has done nothing to elucidate the situation. Explain to Cal that in the case of robot werewolf pregnancy, the most important first step is to ask the werewolf if there's any actual way he could have gotten pregnant. Oh, and Tim Tam, of course, Tim Tam's always there. But Tim Tam is always is is extra funny if it's between a um between a between Virla and uh and a Get Yankee. But is there any way I could have impregnated you? <laughs> nope, I just love to participate. Interesting. As I am no longer about to be a father, I suppose I no longer ha have any use for the 4,000 petabytes of parading data I just downloaded. Eggplant. God, it's a, it really is a dick now. Reallocating that hard drive space for lustful thoughts about attractive campmates. Prank masters, strike again. Man, now your sex talk has me all horny for robot ass. Later, guys, I'm off to troll for techno booty over at Boston Dynamics. Yeah. And now I'm going to participate. Since you are so knowledgeable about reproduction, Panini, could you also inform me about robot magic tree coitus? Magic Tree Mike, the forest preeminent quest giver, scam artist, also informed me that we had a child together and so I've been sending him a lemony payments and bitcoin. Oh no! I am happy. Uh, that was Casimir.
If I were freed from this financial obligation, I could stand spend my Bitcoin more productively by buying many assault weapons online before friend Damien can per purchase them. You're happy to tell Kakules or MTQ can about magic tree says. Gave him a lot of coin in the process. Looks like all that fun googling tree dick wasn't a waste after all. You gained plus four fun and plus these smarts. Oh! Oh, I meet the minimum requirements for Calculester! Holy shit! But this is funny trauma? Yes, absolutely! Uh, I guess I can go back to doing smarts now. Thank you guys! They order the side based on which celebrity is the most likely to die hard. Fan of a much smaller celebrity in a very sincere and wholesome way. I I I like Hatsune Miku. Your smarts are above what you need to. I think it's 15 for the longer one. Let's just average my I'll try to average my score. So uh creativity and um creativity and bonus. I'll I'll concentrate on that next. So what do you guys want? Uh, I said Hatsune Miku. Guys, go, uh, go. Can I take a minute to think? Where do you guys want? I think you guys are, uh, uh, scot free, actually. Look at your stats. Wow, I'm so proud of you! Hydration break! Hydrate or dihydrate, guys! We are so close to the end, look! Dirty boldness. Uh, yeah, I'll go for fun at uh, this time. Ah, uh, no, I'll go for creativity. Higher smarts. But your smarts are already so high. Look. Just in case. Okay. Uh, then I'll try to up my boldness. That day, you go searching for little for edible wildflowers to make a delicious wildflower soup. You heard of some well-known flowers like lilies and tulips are actually poisonous. Oh, that's actually cool. I didn't know that. I love flowers. But sit down for the flower shop A. You decide to find out which flowers are bad by eating them. <laughs> what the fuck, guys? 
few hours later, you bomb that up all the contents of your stomach and have a comprehensive list of which flowers not to put in the soup next time. It's your game plus two smarts. Wildflower soup forever! Then the limes are good for you. Oh, good to know. You can make them tea, soup, bread, soap. You link, you link up with Dal to help her with her ongoing quest to judo throw every tree in the entire forest. It's mostly an excuse to hang out with Dahlia and feed her orange slices while she gets all sweaty wrestling trees. Aye. I, I think we're making progress. We've been out here for three hours and I've thrown... How many trees have I thrown? And the lights are good for blood pressure. I would eat them for dares to make people pay me. Well, it's your trees, you tell me. Ah, uh, about the two-legged tree with the hat that keeps telling me to stop trying to throw the trees. That was a park ranger, you tell her. And you're sure that's not the kind of tree? Its bark was the right color. Those were clothes, you explain. No Alright, we'll count it as half a tree. Sure. Alright, who's next? How about this strapping young tree with Scott's face? Okay, you wild tree, this is what you get for impersonating my friend Scott. Yeah! Whoa! Oof! Excellent. None of the other trees have made that sound so far. I must be getting stronger. No, Dolly, I'm not a tree. It's me, your friend Scott. Is that really you? I didn't recognize you and sent that perfect tree disguise. Thanks, but I don't think it's actually that perfect. I've been practicing being a tree in the woods so I can be an even better tree than I was in our high school play. But the other trees don't accept me. Oh, no, bro. They won't even catch my frisbee when I throw it at them. It's like they're ignoring me. This is a ignoring you? Unacceptable. We gotta make you into the coolest and most tree like tree in this entire forest. Then they'll accept you and your frisbees. Isn't that right, Chatterbox? Yeah. Seems just like a wee. Bit cruel, but Dolly's so cute when she's engaged in the impossible task. If you come up with a good enough idea, may it will improve your chances with her. Good DNA test. Maybe Scott really is a part tree. If Scott wants to be a tree, he's got to act a tree by bearing fruit. Oh shit. Uh, any of these will be good because you guys have passed the stats. So which uh which one do you guys want? One could be smarts. Alright, two. Hmm. So creative. Bear fruit? You mean like out of my butt? Isn't that what you mean? Do you mean you should bear fruit out of his butt? That's insane. No no no, you tell them trees don't bear fruit out of their butts, do they? No, they don't. Trees don't even have butts. How would I? How could I have been so blind? You know so much about trees, Chatterbox. Damn right you do. That's why you can save the concept of trees bear fruit from behind their ears. Oh, admirable! Chatterbox, you just reached behind Scott's ears to produce a delicious Fuji apple. What sorcery is this? Who seems like fun? Who sounds funny? Uh, but it was. It was great then. It's not sorcery, you say. It's just science. Scott's a tree, so when you reach behind the ear, you get apples. Let me try. I tried to stop her because you were really just doing a bullshit sleight of hand magic trick to make your friend feel better. But you can't stop her. She reaches behind Scott's ear. It comes back with two apples! What? What is me? Honestly, you have no idea. You're completely bewildered by the apparent apple producing powers of Scott's head. They set those before you picked, lol. Oh, uh, it's lag. Lag, wait, hold up. Touchdown! 
Wow, it must really be a tree if all these apples are coming out of my head. Maybe now the trees will finally accept me. That's the theory. Scott throws his frisbee at one of the trees. Get stuck with the tree's upper branches. Okay, it worked! Thanks, guys! Go thank me. Thank Chatterbox for discovering your secret apple magic. I was! I was thanking both of you! Okay, good. Not only have you impressed Dahlia, but she even lets you boost her up to grab Scott's Trisby from up in the tree. You gain plus two fun and plus one smarts. You guys are good now. Um, uh, okay. Uh... I'll go with bonus. A day in the haunted manor, a little crown clown man rides a tricycle up to you and asks if you would like to play a game. <laughs> would you like to play a game? Nice odd doodle in our uh, rolling with difficulty chord lamp. Oh, I'll look at it. I'm still in my sabbatical, so. For reasons. I saw Oz. You guys are great. Games, you suggest Monopoly or Scattergories? Aha, Scattergories. The clown man tells you to find the exit key in an hour or he's going to rip all your skin. Oh, wait, it's the um, it's the Saw guy. I never watched Saw. You're not super into that idea, so you two decide to compromise by going to an escape room and solving more of some puzzles together. <laughs> Not the fun, but you don't gain fun here. You gain plus two boldness instead. Oh, boldness will be my biggest stats. You spot Calculus there, sitting content contentedly nearby, a little cactus by his side, leaving through college brochures. You ask him if he's figure out what to do after high school. What? Oh, heavens no, I have already planned out my own future for the next 4,000 years. I'm perusing this map list because I'm concerned with the future of my la little kid, Katie Prickly Perry. Come on, guys, how could you not love him? It takes you a second to realize he's referring to his little cactus friend. That's sweet, but you gently remind him that cacti can't go to college or hold jobs. That is certainly what everyone says, but just because something has never happened before, it does not mean that it will never happen. Success. I am confident that Katie will be the first in her genius to finally break through the glass ceiling of the greenhouse and achieve a fulfilling career. The only true obstacle is figuring what career she is best suited for. I must confess I am a bit of a loss. Well, if Kyle is really committed to this, you can play along. 
It suggests that little Katie might make a good civic engineer. I considered that, but she simply isn't very good at math. What about the politician? You suggest you don't have to know much to be a politician. I never let my little dad be surrounded by so many unethical people. Yeah, don't do it. <laughs> this is just Virla deciding where Emmy will go to college. Fine, you're led. What about the surgeon? No good. Surgeons need thumbs. It's really trickier than you thought. It would be mostly because you can't believe calculus is taking this so seriously. I believe it! Still, you did get where you are today by not having an infinite supply of dumb ideas. Surely one of these two will work. This cactus would make a great Pinterest model for chic interior design photos. Ah, uh, that's creativity. With the right education, this cactus might someday become a highly accomplished beverage. Oh no! See their fun? Or boldness? I don't know. What do you guys think? Creative versus smarts. Oh, but this will hurt Katie. With the right education, this cactus might someday become a highly accomplished beverage. This might hurt her. This cactus would make a great Pinterest model for chic interior design photos. Creativity or charm or fun. I think let's go with um uh, I don't want to I don't want to risk hurting um Katie so Petrus model <gasps> Shit hmm. 
He managed to book a photo review so you can get Katie to do a photo shoot. He claims to be an expert on in his own word. That Pinterest stuff. Great. It's not great. Why? Katie's pot was selected for optimal room for root growth and sunlight exposure, and the pink pot would clash with her beautiful short dress complexion. What do you know, Robot Boy? I'm the photog photographer. Don't worry, I can still make this cactus shiny with that bland outfit. Oh dear. Oh gosh. No, this is far too much water for a cactus. The soil will be barely moist. Nah, oh, man, good interior design is all about sex these days. I am disappointed. How could you possibly put my dear Katie in such a compromising position, Panini? You told me you don't because you didn't think cacti had feelings. Uh, guys. Down smarts. Well, this is the fun of it. No, it's okay. I have to catch up with Calculester. So close to sleep time, yet so far. Just finished your quarterly review. That went awesome. Your boss thinks you're doing a great job playing this video game. You're hoping to celebrate your corporate competency with some pals. Some good news. You find a Robbie and Calculus by the campfire. Kukushan, those are the 18,208 reasons I have collected to convince you that we should paint our food truck the static, statistically best color. Burnt orange. This is so fun. <laughs> Sounds glorious, Cal. God, this food is gonna be so sick. I'm gonna reach level 18 in my merchant skill tree so fast. Guys, I just had a tri trillist food truck on Dia. We should sell mini Victoria sponge cakes for dessert. They were the technical challenge recipe for the GBBO season 5 finale. So dope. Whoa, Hex watches the Great Bits Bake Off? That's your favorite show. You give them the secret GBBO handshake, the old tree cake it's no. Hey, it's sick that you like GBBO Panini. I honestly love reality TV in general. I'm watching the best thing right now. Have you guys seen 90 Day Adoption? I have not seen it. I am aware that the show exists but have been unable to watch it due to my current parental control browser settings. Yeah, I haven't seen it either. Reality TV bores the shit out of me. They always edit up the really good ones. Holy shit, you guys aren't watching 90 Day Adoption? It's the ultimate reality TV show, and now I'm gonna tell you all, all everything about it, and you can't stop me. <laughs> so basically, the show's like The Bachelor, but for orphans. So each season, there's a new set of parents, and they adopt six orphans and choose which one they want to keep. For it. But the crazy part is the parents have never met each other face to face. They fell in love and got married while only communicating through water kitakis. If the parents don't complete enough intimacy challenge, they have to let their exes raise the children for a day. It's to say the drama is absolutely the best part. I am pleased that you're enjoying the show, but I am afraid I may be unable to watch it. I can only process a limited amount of drama per hour. I thought I was safe watching my favorite reality show, Terrace House, but then I had to process all the emotional nuance in the meat and snap. I almost ran out of battery. Yeah, these shows are never worth the time to watch them. It's always like one five minute clip of the headbutt and they just replay over and over. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, you guys, I hear you, but I get the show, it's fair, but I have to tell you about the elimination challenges, it's just wait till you hear this. Not signal to oh dear, this. this is stressful. I may be overheating, is my fan wearing louder than normal? Uh-oh. Looks like your two vulnerable friends are totally obsessed with reality, and that's the deal breaker for you. Quick, bring up a show you know they'll love. What about the undercover final boss who's got brutal violence and their stunts this is for uh, Arabi? And then have you guys seen the Turing test? Are you human enough? It's family friendly drama painting shoots a lot of human social. 
Is this what people call camping? Oh wow, that show, that show sounds like it. It would align with my personal interests and allow me to bond with all of you, thereby incrementally strengthening our friendship. Personally, I would be very interested in consuming the episode of Sin Spell. Thanks for the suggestion, Penny. Oh my god, Cal, it's so good. You would love it. Honestly, it's so crazy that you haven't seen it because it's like made for you. Let's watch it! You about your phone? Briefly thank god that you kept your Disney Plus subscription and pull up an episode of the Turing Test. Welcome to another episode of the Turing Test. Our first contest of today is going to try to prove his humanity by eating organic material. Uh oh, looks like Judge Watt number 342 is very impressed by our first contestant technique. He's forgetting a major element of human eating. Swallowing. Uh... Whoa, so the robots in the show are trying to pass as people? But then why aren't the judges robots? Shouldn't the judges be humans? Relax. Shut up, Arabi. Always not. The judges have to be robots. Humans are too subjective and emotionally biased to judge things, duh. Our next contestant, Pleasure Droid 0001231, is trying to wow the judges with their human behavior. Being toxic on Twitter. <laughs> it's like they're trashing a TV show they didn't watch. What an edgy performance. Pleasure Droid 0001231 sure isn't pulling any punches. I am personally riveted by this video content. Now our final contestant is going to prove his humanity with the most difficult and vicious chance we've ever seen. Demonstrating appropriate facial cues in conversation. I am completely surprised by this! He's the dark horse of the season but it looks like he's pulling it up. His eyebrows might be overheating and my god it's a perfect pr 10 performance. Wow, did you notice that how that robot looks subtly uncomfortable when discussing his salary? That was so human. How inspirational. Yeah, that show was pretty funny. But I gotta take off. I scheduled a 12 hour water dungeon speedrun for tonight. I'm gonna crush the record by at least 0.12 seconds. Oh, Robbie, you don't understand. It only gets better in season 2. They make the judges wear wigs. Don't drag me away. Well, if they're no longer interested, perhaps you and I could you shoot more of this content together? Just the two of us? Ah! Hell yeah! After a few more episodes, Calculester asks if you'd be more comfortable if he if he put his cold robotic arm around you. Ah! You don't know if Cal has perfected his human cues, but his facial expression when asking seems a bit flirty. Whoa! I hope that fire is safe. To to the Mothman. Evening chatterbox. I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoyed your day at summer camp. My day is only just beginning. My people are mostly nocturnal, so I rarely spend time awake during daylight hours. So while you and your our other campmates get to frolic in the sunshine, oh, he's not a camp counselor. And hear all sorts of juicy, titillating, world rocking gossip. I am sleeping away in my tent, unaware of it all. Got some gossip? Which is why I'm hoping you, popular soul that you are, would be willing to tell me a bit of gossip you may have heard through the grapevine. Oh, poor nocturnal mass moss man. You're not really going to deny such a cute giant insect person his gossip, are you? Time to concoct some lies and slander, all in the name of being a good friend, of course. Choose a player to strike with your gossip skills. Yeah, what more could I lose? Look at this. This is so sad. Okay.
choose one. Press implant, sat cheat seat, semi-automatic machine gun, Nintendo DS Lite. I think this is the only positive here. Plus, Oh, that's that's probably creativity, right? Or fun. That's probably fun. This one's boldness. Uh this one's smarts, right? This is going to affect smarts. And uh this one's charm. There's two options. The first is that. The second is if it's up or down. Uh, let's let's try Nintendo DS Lite. Cause I don't wanna. I know this is smarts, but I do not know if it's going to attack it negatively. Choose one. Underpaid Waitress, Orphan Unicorn Falls, Xenophobic Manatees, or Neats. Oh! Oh! Sorry guys, I chose the Nintendo DS. Open orphan unicorn falls. All right. Type in an abstract concept. Can we? What are we gonna do? I could put cool. live okay <laughs> let's step through that i can't believe it i have to put an all day or just to spread this news around but it'll be worth it see ya your gossip is like a little seed and you probably watch it grow into a mighty oak as your friends pass it around the cat park look have your children it's like wow who is this She's hot. Hey, Chatterbox. So, we got any fun hobbies? Baking? Gaming? Making sentient golems out of clay to do your bidding? Aww. Sorry, I was trying to make conversation. And also say, it was totally wild for us if I just heard about the name. See, Honey is not particularly weird, probably. They probably like to knit homemade Nintendo DS sites and sell them on Etsy. Hmm. The store is called the Knee Circle of Hope. Interesting name, you know. We will even order something for their campus over. But what's even weirder about the Knee Circle of Hope is that the name gives Orphan Unicorn. 75% discount on all purchases. What? Oh shit! Why is this game? Why is this game calling me out right now? I am a net crafter. What the fuck? The explanation on the Etsy store page is that Panini wanted to give back to the community that shaped them into the person they are today. Whatever that means. Bye. Oh, this must be a Patreon cozy. Oh, that's so cool. Personally, I think the knees own hobby and makes them sexy. Hey, each their own. What do you think? Ah, ah. 
This is certainly a rumor to remember, and everyone will definitely remember that Panini gained plus for creativity. Oh, that's so cool. Bring out your flask, I'll take gamble. That weekend, you feel like getting wasted, so you go visit none other than one. Hola! Oh no, wait, that's not the voice again. Here you go, friends. That's all. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Ah, uh, it didn't even pick up. Hola. You know, when I started making magical drinks, I never thought people would actually come to like drink them. Who am I to judge? Oh, it's a, uh, it's our doofus schmerz, uh, kobold. Anyway, take a look at this one. Ooh, I got. I'll take this. Tequila Moonrise. Quite appealing, right? Who know if I'd drink that? But the real question is, will you? I also have this mystery box because at this point, who knows what you drink? I'll take it. You passed your prizes, the drink you chose. Thanks, Juan. Saki bomb. What do you say? You'll take the drink of the day? Or would you prefer the mystery box? I honestly don't know if this is a good or a bad thing. Will you take, uh, will you play it safe or will you take the gacha? <laughs> Nitroglycerine feed. <laughs> oh, I must have this one. Bomb swaps all stats randomly? Yeah, you cannot risk that. Well, you probably can. Oh, no, no, you can't. Box? Okay. Wow, uh, Margarita. A mystery box? So bold of you. Hope you're happy with it. No refunds. Margarita. So you want to drink a margarita, huh? You think by drinking a brain you'll have surge its smarts is a bit simplistic. But hey, it's what actually happens. Occam's razor at its finest. Let's do this. Tequila moonrise. This one, tequila moonrise. What a powerful, invigorating drink. I gave it that name because when you drink it, 
You can feel all your stats rising. Thank you, one. Thank you. Thanks. And I got the violet bloom. Juan is be giving me a bone. Bless one. Oh my god. Stats are insane. Wow. Everybody choose something good. Say your choice out loud but to the other players before clicking. I am average, so uh, I think I'm going to focus now on smarts. Panini stream? Oh, Jedi. Play your orders decided based on the likelihood that society would survive if you said good thing was completely wiped from existence. Start debating now. I'll just make it random. Oh. Is there a place where I can just do nothing? I'm gonna go to the wall. I'm gonna up uh up my smarts as much as I can. That day will hack you through the woods you find the J plus S forever carved out. Oh. Then another thing you find J is a liar in a cheating hole. That's less cute. Then on yet another thing you find S, I know you bang like 12 people abroad in Europe to dish what you can't take. But the last <laughs> Yes, docs is J. It turns out J lives on 7889. Let's do smart slang. Boy, you sure can learn a lot from trees. Uh, this is what happens with the Vaz and Adelian uh, ship in one of our in the water for fabrics. You managed to extricate yourself from that situation just in time to nearly trip over Cat Master. He's crouched on the ground, intently studying his grass prison full of ants. I mean, his ant farm, that's what these are called. Oh, friend Panini, how pleasant to see you. Anything for my ant. As you can see, I am once again attempting to understand the complexities of organic life by way of this ant theory. I briefed numerous lives to provide the perfect data set for training my neural net. Only old beings died and reproduced so rapidly. In the course of my research, however, I've begun to worry about these ants spiritually fulfilled. Tell me, Panini, as an expert on the organic plague, the spiritual fulfillment consists of dragging food through tunnels and then vomiting it with the mouth of your all powerful queen. I'm not sure you even have a soul, let alone spiritual fulfillment, but whatever it is, it's probably not a bomb thing. Tell him so. Oh dear! Oh gosh! Oh, no. oh dear! If my little ant friends are not spiritually fulfilled, how will I ever be able to deduce the true nature of happiness from their behavior? Grand Panini, please help me. How can I catapult this humble ant society to a higher plane of assistance? Oh no! Oh no! I first thought it's with an actual catapult, but Damon borrowed yours for home. Hughes back and never returned it. And for plan B, the ants need something to look forward to besides eating and dying. Introduce them to the word of God. 
No. Help the ants appreciate the zany side of work by creating producing the office but for ants. Uh, this is either fun or charm. Alright, this one. What the fuck? So I can talk organic be <laughs> anything for my ant. Minus four smarts and minus two creativity. I botched this run, guys. Even if I keep going for smarts, no more. I, I don't think I think I'll get it, guys. Oh well. Uh, where do you guys want to go? Creative. Spend the day learning new skills with the monster scouts in order to earn badges. You earn a badge for healing a wound only using the bark of a tree. You earn a badge for writing poems in iambic pentameter. You earn a badge for building a blackberry using only real blackberries. Nice! Doing all those unexpected and probably useless lessons learn you plus to creativity. Later, you happen upon Dahlia washing car in the middle of camp. Why? How did she even get a car in the middle of camp? Hello, Chatterbox. I can see your face, a question that's burning in your heart. What does having washing a car have to do with Eric Yacht? Not quite, for sure. That's just a good place to start us in. Well, just because I'm on the camping cheat doesn't mean I can't go so. That's what my enemy would want from me. I must find alternative ways of maintaining my rippling apps. And I watched a documentary recently that taught me that the best workouts are often hidden in menial tasks, such as washing car. Wax on, wax off. Wax off, you know. Aww. Unfortunately, I don't think the car washing is doing much for my muscles, or even for the car. I'm pretty sure it's dirtier than when I found it. Oops. That's probably because I'm close to expression values washing the car with the found ways, which should be washed by Sarah and Hedmi. Perhaps this isn't the proper workout for me. Everyone knows the best workout adapts for each individual's body and what best ex exercises their muscles. <laughs> Probably need to find a different menial tasks will give me full body workout. You seem like an expert in menial tasks. What sort of growth activity could I do to reach maximum power? Achieve the perfect balance of a checkbook. The more menial a task apparently is, the more it will work you out. So you must subject yourself to the most menial fall tasks, consciously blinking. Which one's which? I'm gonna get my revenge, guys, next time we play this. Yes, we'll be playing more Monster Cap or Monster Prom. But not next week. Uh, checkbook feels safe. Your smarts is 17. I actually don't know which is which. Or this this could also be smarts. I really don't know. No, this could be boldness. One? Okay. Oh intriguing. Your ideal has potential to achieve bands of body, mind, and finance. It'll be a workout of likes which I never undertake him. Dahlia balls a check for from Coach, the only person in camp old enough to have on the start doing cell calculations. Sweat begins to promote for profusely from fall with every one of her muscles straining in concentration. Matt, you are worthy adversary, so many numbers, deposits, withdrawals. But I'm Dahlia Kino and I will not be bested by any rival. Numbers meet knuckles. 
Oh, she's beating the checkbook like it owes her money. You can only look on with a mixture of horror and slight amusement. No, I must compose myself. Now she's meditating. This is becoming quite an emotional journey. Hmm. Yes, now I see the numbers are meaning. It's all about the balance of the mind. Once you look past the difficult adding and subtracting in decimals, you see that all that matters is your zen. There you know some accountants who would disagree. But Dahlia has clearly made up her mind. Eyes closed, she's now writing a series of meanings, meaningless numbers across the coach's sketchbook. By the time she's done, the checkbook is just a mess of numbers and silly doodles of her beating up chakras. But Dahlia seems happy, and you're pretty sure she's got like 10% stronger from punching shit out of her checkbook. It's even her horrible financial advice, but great work out of the ice. Again, plus two charm, but plus one fun. I checked a post random right away. Sorry. Let's go. Uh, take I'm a nap. going to up my smarts. Inside the stuns of information on local monsters and how to defeat them. Covers gnomes, psychics, time travels, Illuminati shaped demons. What a boring journal. Where's the drama? Where's the inner thoughts and insecurities about school crushes? Whoever wrote this journal knew nothing about how journals serve. You gain no fun from this, but you surely get plus two smarts. Boring. Oh, bye, Lamp! Thank you for staying. Uh, the next, uh, the next event is the, the event, uh, this one. The camp thing. I didn't realize it to be this long. I thought we would do uh, only like three hours. Holy shit. Thank you so much, Lamp. Later, you're busy making your bionicles. Someone, someone put that in our WD court. But do not tag Noir. Bionicles here with you, Lise. Oh, my God! Oh, my God. It caught my embarrassment on stream. Hope I got the Togepi. I need a W. No, I didn't catch the Togepi. Later, you're busy making your bionicles smooch each other until Calculus grabs you, Damien, and Dahlia and leads you deep into the woods. Oh dear. Oh Friends, thank you for responding to my behavior. I was trying my best to simulate severe distress. First off, the greetings. No Stole my greetings. Hey. We have assembled you here because, as you can see, there is a critical plant emergency in the forest. These plants are failing to pollinate. The situation is dire. There is a 99.98% likelihood that this will never negatively affect the plant population of the woods. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Are we in the middle of a plant apocalypse? 
Oh yeah, that is completely accurate. Also, I admire your word choice. Please, I need you three to help me see this botanical organism. Fucking metal. Plants are actually pretty fucking metal. You know there are plants that can eat a whole car if you dare them to? I'm down to help. I'm not certain that's accurate, but I'm also excited that you have agreed to help me. No fear. It's not help. Heal die, you save your plants. Haha! <laughs> oh, and before I forget, I just have one question. What is pollination and why does it matter even at all? Oh, it's plant sex. Oh, that's an excellent question. Plant biology is one of my favorite internet search terms, so I'd be happy to give me a good explanation. Gilbert! Gilbert! Finish your your paper. But also hi! Welcome to the stream. We're almost done here. Thank you for coming. Simply put, pollination is the act of transferring pollen grains from the male anther of a flower to the female stigma. <laughs> Wait, is pollination the reason why trees smell like jizz in the spring? I was getting the weirdest bonus from that smell last year. Ah, why did I read that? Pollen travels from one flower to another via animals or insects. We call animals or insects that transfer pollen from plant to plant pollinators. Huh? Oh, congratulations, Gilbert! Damn, those pollinators just rolled around from one flower to another, getting all covered in those pollen grains, soaking every the filthy, filthy hey, pollen. God. Holy shit. Damien! Once pollen is transferred between flowers, the flower can produce a seed. Seeds contain the genetic information to produce a new plant. Holy shit, pollination get plants pregnant? Are you telling me the pollination is just plant fucking? I am mildly aroused by pollination, we should help these plants immediately. Time to take that mother aerosol to the full blown plant boner. Get these plants in the mood to pollinate, baby. Turn down the lights and play some smooth PC and stall TV that only plays B movie. These plants will be wet with pollen in no time. Shit, so my smarts, charm, and fun. Are my highest. Four play is key. Look for the nearest tree and start caressing its nuts. This is boldness. Or this could be charm. As long as not creativity. What do you do, guys? All is the number one reason why spring is my least favorite season. Hey, Panini, I like jazz. Ha 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 ha. Oh, look at his face! Oh no! By the way, I'm five more, five more till affiliate, so hopefully I get, um... Uh, I get more people to see me on stream. Going with B movie because I think this is, this is either boldness or charm. But this could be creativity, which is my lowest. So I don't know. What do you guys think?
Good luck, Panini. You got this. Holy shit. Come on, guys. This is creativity. I'm very sure of it. It's gonna be bonus. could be fun. Fuck it, let's do it. So charming. Yes. Yes. Yes, Panini. That's perfect. We just need to create a sexually enticing atmosphere. I'll work on the jazz. Me and Dali will do the mood lighting. It can't be that part of the lights in the forest, right? I'll leave you to handle the ultimate sexy mood set with the TV that only plays a green movie. The TV is surprisingly easy to set up in the forest. Someone wanted near at least as a functional power Best outlet. Victory, you've created the sexiest vibes ever. This forest is basically Bone City, France. It's definitely an improvement, but I'm still a bit nervous. I'm not seeing any signs of pollination yet. What if the vibes are simply not worn out? Wait, you guys, I just figured it out. These are pollinators, so I think we should dress up in sexy bee costume. Nobody can resist a sexy thematic outfit. How did Damien know that? Wait, how did Dave know that? Pretty sure he's just hiding his dumbness. Just so he can look cool. You all get to work on your sexy bee costume. You just tape some black and yellow construction paper to your latest rave outfit and make a stinger out of a vibrator. Nice. laugh oh shit guys check it out i'm a sexy contractor worker bee these plants will swim from your sweat soaked bee muscles wanna get stung i'm a sexy made the shit i dropped my pollen sock feather duster Hot calculator, and I'm a sexy letter B. You ask, you ask calculator why he decided to dress up like the letter B and an, an actual B. Oh, it's simple, really. I did the calculations, and it turns out that the letter B is technically sexier than a B because it has more curves. Also, it can be interpreted as a butt or boobs or even balls. Calculator, why do you know that? Stati statistically, it's it's the se sexiest letter. Ah, it's probably gonna go soon. Get our girl. Okay, uh, I'll speed this up, Ren. Kalis, right? Plant nuts for the letter B. He does a sexy dance for the plants, and everybody starts falling night. It's so hard you can smell it the second you walk into the forest. I know, see summer camps appeal. Thank you so much for helping, especially Panini. This has been on a beautiful plan. Be to rock, bees. dude. Even I can admit you're a true bee shadari. God damn bee churrosa. God damn it, guys. I'm here to save My turn. The uh, be saved the day. Be day. Turns out Dahlia is bad at wordplay and we're great at friendship. Plus, in here, all the fallen stick earns you plus four smarts and plus two charm. Thank you, guys. Alright. One last hurrah. For you, Ren, I am speeding this up. Where are we going? Fun? Alright, I gotta go. Bye bye, Ren! Alright, fun. I hope we get the thing. That day you bring up a magazine to read by the lake. The cover story is how to gain fun while camping with your six hottest, most charismatic friends. Oh shit, I didn't notice creativity. So sorry, guys. Step one, go to the lake. Step two, wait. Wait, that's it? Then why hasn't that worked for you? Guys, you, your bold, the bold theme. Came out right after I clicked. Oh wait, you just gained plus two fun. Thanks, Cosmopolitan. 
I could question does it count as kidnapping if I'm ducting you so you can help me do a thing that you already agreed to help it? Never mind, you can answer later. Oh, we're gonna kill Fall. Right now, I need to knock you out and drag you to Portland. Or you can say, I would have come with you willingly. You're waking up with a bump on your head, stuff inside a suitcase, and the PDX baggage carousel. Right, there you are. Let's go. It's time to defeat the Herald of Autumn. Their name is... Autumn. They live in a giant puppy. Now, this intelligence turned out to be wrong. Their Herald's name is Autumn, alright? But they live in a tasteful craftsman bungalow. They are a giant pumpkin. Hey, friends. That's Autumn, sitting calmly on their porch with a steamy mug of tea. Here to defeat me on behalf of the Herald of Summer, etc., etc. Pick drone attacks. Okay. That's, a, that's right. Although I have to say, I'm a little surprised that Paul's the final boss of this thing. I'm not surprised that you're surprised, says Autumn. Chill lo-fi plays seemingly from there. Every quirky person thinks they're the only one who likes fall. Thing is, Autumn says as they adjust their cozy scarf, everybody in the entire world thinks of the self as quirky. Fall is the most popular season by far and will be forever. Yeah, that's true. As someone who who experienced perpetual summer or perpetual rain, I like fall. But if I have anything to say about it, and I do, what I have to say about it is no! Talk is cheap, honey, says Autumn. Your voice makes you want to fall in the pile of crisp, colorful leaves. How do you actually plan to defeat me? Uh, I'm gonna punch you real hard! Mm, no, says Autumn, after thinking about it for a second. Punching really isn't the vibe right now. What do you mean? Punching is always the vibe. Watch, I'll show you. <laughs> I can't do it. The vibes are too chill. It's like trying to punch my way out of a warm quilt. Ah! Uh, Gilbert, buy that ball. Like, either press, uh, Poke Shop. I mean, type, uh, exclamation point Poke Shop. And then, uh, Poke Ball. And then type how many you want. Oh no, with Dali's greatest weapon out of commission, how will you ever defeat Autumn? Well, you've got one or two ideas. Exploit false greatest weakness. Offer them pumpkin spice flavored poison. Sunburns ruin summer. Algae's ruin spring. Family drama ruins history. But fall is ruined by drone attacks. For the first time, Autumn's called demeanor for others. Drone attacks? Oh dang, you found my only vulnerability. It was pretty chill of the self-aware drones to agree to a truce with monster kind at the end of the incredibly sweet monster robot war. We fought in that war, on both sides, just so I could do more fighting. But it's a bummer that the truce just forced them to confine all their drone strikes to fall. If it weren't for the constant fear of drone strikes, fall really would be the perfect season. Oh well, bottom size and as your eyes drift up to the horizon. Oh no. Drone attack, but it's summer! Eh, it's autumn shrugging. Everything within the 30 mile radius of my divine person is considered to be fall for the purposes of the treaty. I live a life of constant girl. I guess I could flee again, change my name to Otonio and move to Spain, but I really like this house. Guess I'll die. RCXD deployed? What the fuck? Bye, friends! They wave. I hope you always remember the times you shared together. I will not! And it seems to say about something else, but just then, the drones blow up their house in an extremely surgical strike that only obliterates three of the surrounding city blocks. Dahlia protects you with a crushing muscular embrace. Spoosh? Best summer ever! You did it! The three pretender seasons are defeated! Summer reigns supreme! Children hospital collapses in the distance. Oops. You should get a badge for that. 
Ooh, I wonder if I get a special badge for this. It feels great to be the hero. It's great as it feels to get crushed by Dahlia, plus you find plus two charm and plus one fun the smoldering wreckage. The last day of summer is here. Alright. Alright. I'll accept it. I'll accept it, guys. <sighs> yep. I can do this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You finally got the courage to ask your beloved to watch the meteor shower with you. You desire a summer fling with me? Error 404. The issue is this. As a robot, I am programmed to make logical choices that I've analyzed to be objectively good. I acknowledge your feelings, but my code is practically screaming not to accept your advantage as it'd be a very bad choice, objectively speaking. I need to trust my code, Panini. I'm sure you understand. After being rejected, you spent most of the meteor shower crying alone in your tent. Some days after that, the police come to your place. Apparently, one of the campers at Camp Spooky was brutally murdered during the night of the meteor shower. They're checking on everyone, but most people have an alibi, as they were on a date with someone else, but not you. You end up in jail, reminded of another perk of getting a date. Makes a good alibi. Yeah, luck really hated me. You unveiled the first secret ending. After a seasonal adventure together, you want to ask Dahlia to be your summer fling. It's quite easy to find as she's radiating a, a, a potent summer hey. life. Hey Chatterbox, we did it. We defeated the other seasons. Since then, I've started to glow weirdly. I think it's also because I'm the best harbinger of summer that has ever existed. You want me to be your summer fling? Are you want to cheat the best summer ever? It's clear I need the summer thing. I'm Dahlia Kino, queen of the summer, conqueror of the seasons. She she really said Aquino in a very Filipino way. Bow to me, Chatterbox. Henceforth, you shall be known as my summer fling. Oh, I'm so happy for you guys. Hey, you bastard my beauty and peace and my the Val flesh holy crap that's beautiful oh my my headphones are dying Perfect. Dahlia accepts you in her warm, buff embrace. She's full of radiance and beauty. It blinds you powerfully. You, you become her summer fling. Good news is that by defeating the other seasons, the summer lasts a whole year while new seasonal harbinger appears. <laughs> Best summer ever! As you can see, this is my first playthrough of the game. This may be too much to send to most discords. Oh, that's why we're sending you to the not safe work discord. Before we knew it, those weeks were gone. It felt like a hot minute and felt like an entire lifetime. That night, I saw someone coming to the end. We all wondered what could what would come next for us, and it felt like the end of something big. But did we know life still had many wonders and misadventures in store for us? Now I'm older and I can see it, how those years became the foundation of the mythology of our lives. Oh, that's beautiful. Broken hearts turned tragedies sung for centuries. Wild nights became epics treasured forever. Every kiss and every laugh is now consolation we'll always find while gazing into the starry night, no matter how many years go by. Even today, I can still close my eyes and I'm there. On that last summer night, feeling like I was just starting to live life.
all my friends around the camper. So young, none afraid. So ready to start. Byron, thank you so much for staying with us. Oh, it's the that guys. I am the bringer of a message just for you. Oh, live streamers of the world. I was commissioned to write a song about your issues so you can use it with no conditions. It's a pinky promise. It won't strike you down. Uh, down, down. Mm. We won't bother you down the line. Ah, Casey Mangelis is uh Oh, that's so cool. You won't get a strike. So cool. I love to play. Bye Gil, thank you so much for coming. So cool. You will make your favorite streamers stay a bit better. Don't you forget it? Like if making content. Oh my god! Even the song is is it is perfect for streaming. Ah, oh, this is so good. Best fandom ever. Streaming monster cam. You won't get a strike. Playing monster cam. Oh, the song is literally about streaming. Yes, because I picked streamer mode. Writing songs for Pentagram and they won't let me go until we sell a million copies. Streaming Monster Camp. Oh, that's you so cute. Won't get a strike. Playing Monster Camp. You could just find. Say goodbye to the streamer version. Oh, that's the so cute. And remember, streaming a green created by camp. beautiful glitch. Thanks for playing. Uh, you've just unlocked Co5 Beats to relax study too. Guys, thank you so much! Thank you for hanging out with me. Well, that was a wild ride, huh? And uh, obviously, you guys had a good run. But as usual, my luck, um, my luck is really bad. So what we're gonna do is, uh, I will, I'm gonna raid someone. And I'll leave you guys with their, in their care. Uh, next, uh, my next stream is obviously on Thursday. And I will be once again um, doing um, D and D and Pokemon.
see you guys bye bye